Hello fellow survivors and welcome to an unusual gameplay walkthrough of As the Dead Sleep, one of the hardest challenges in the game. If you're new to this channel, I already have a walkthrough on how to complete As the Dead Sleep as a challenge if you just want to complete it uh, for the sake of it. I also have a speedrun of this uh, challenge, which uh, is one of the fastest times in the world but it's not narrated. So in this video, I was initially going to do a, another attempt at a world record in As the Dead Sleep, and I was going to narrate it and make it a speed run walkthrough. I was also going to try a new uh, tactic that I thought about called loot scouting, which is that you enter an area and then you see where the items are, then you exit the game and go back in, and now you already know where the items are and you save time. It's totally an exploit, but when you do speedruns, you take every uh, margin you can get. However, I made a massive uh, mistake in this run. About an hour in, I got food poisoning. And in As the Dead Sleep, you have permanent health loss. And this made the challenge so much harder. And I actually kind of gave up and thought, let's just uh, quit. But then I thought, well, let's just... Let's just see how far I can push this. And then it became a survival run. And I just wanted to see if it was possible to complete a speed run while having food poisoning. And yeah, it was quite a nail biter. I will point out that there's a couple of details of food poisoning that I didn't know because I very rarely get food poisoning in survival mode. And if I do, I just sleep off. But in a speed run, you don't sleep. So in this particular case, there are a few details that I uh, don't know. So you will see a couple of editor's notes uh, on this video every now and then explaining some details that I didn't necessarily know or say correctly at the time I was recording it. In any case, this is a tricky acid head sleep challenge. You might learn something about speedrunning, but if not, just enjoy the ride and see how far I push this run. Okay, let's hop into the challenge. Hello fellow survivors, today we're going to do a speedrun of As the Dead Sleep. One of the hardest challenges, if not the hardest challenge in the game. It is very difficult because you have permanent health loss. And it's kind of like Nogoa in that sense. It's very difficult. Uh, I have a walkthrough on how to do it without speedrunning it, just managing it in your own time. And I hope that helps. Speedrunning it though is difficult because you can't actually sleep. You just got to go from one place to another and try and stay warm. And that's quite tricky. Now I have a pretty fast time with this on about a day and a half, but the fastest time is a day and eight hours. I have a couple ideas though. I'm going to use a new tactic for this called loot scouting, which you can milk all the way if you like. And I explain it to you as I jump in. So I'm going to do a speedrun attempt here. I will just see how it goes and I'll explain what I'm doing along the way. Not promising I'm getting a fast time or anything, but I'm trying it out. So let's hop in for a speed run that's narrated of the dead acid at sleep. The Astrid as usual, and we'll call it Loot Scout. So first thing says when we spawn, we gotta get indoors right away. And there's a technique that I call loot scouting, which you can do. What that is, is whenever you enter an area like a house, you can the game saves so you can actually exploit it by then seeing what items are in the house and where they are what's worth your time and then you immediately leave uh, and exit the game then you go back in and now you know where everything is so you can save time looting because you already know where things are to be found the drawback of this is that it takes longer to actually do it but you get shorter time Another drawback is that uh, it doesn't always work. You might go into a house, you lose three containers and you find stuff in all three. Then you exit, you come back and only two of them have loot, but it's the same loot. So it does seem to be that some loot in the game is always there. It's kind of determined once the game has loaded and then other things are random. So we'll have to see how this works. So let's jump in. First things first, we got to go out of here. 
First, I'm going to check behind me for uh, anything. Nothing there. Let's go right away. And then we just got to get out of here. ASAP. Just to avoid taking too much cold damage. We're going to pick up sticks so we can, just for warmth. And we want to get indoors right away. And then there's many different routes you can take. I have my route, other people have their route. Go ahead, there's some wood. I'm going to grab that. And then we're heading down to the first indoor location. Then there's different routes you can take from here. You can go over a shortcut or you can go uh, loot scouting by entering here, then going around to the hunter's blinds to see if they have coffee. But in my experience, coffee is like a 10% chance in those lo uh, hunting blinds. So it's not really worth it in my opinion. Okay, just uh, now I'm gonna run a bit more. Here we can do our first loot scouting, but I don't think it's too important in this one because we're probably going to loot everything to create, um, uh, you know, bandages and things. Let's go inside and then the game saves. And I can quickly see I don't have a hat or anything. So we can check we have this and there's nothing in there. The drawers, nothing in there. Okay, what else is there? So we're going to look around. Uh, is there anything under the chairs? So you're going to look very far. There's a flare under the chair in the trunk. Nothing in the trunk either. So, so far, it's just a flare. And we have dog food back there. The flare and dog food. And then we have sewing kit. Gloves. I think that's it. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. No. So then what you can do, you can load the game. Again, we go, you can ignore this stuff. We want the flare and then the dog food and sewing kit. And then that's pretty much it. So what I can do now to save some time, I can now do exit. So this is a massive exploit, but if you want to get a really fast time in this speed run, then exploits abound. Okay, then I go and check, grab this, grab that and grab this and the gloves which I'm putting on and then I can leave right away take the book also and we're going to leave and then we're going to grab the coal that's over here which you can use for warmth And then we're going to head to our shortcut that's over here. That's going to be the first one. And wait for the stamina to recharge. We're going to get tired pretty quickly in this run. We're likely to find a little bit of coffee, but not a lot of it. Wait for it to recharge. Uh, we shouldn't run into timber wolves doing this, but it could happen, I suppose. It could happen. But here's a little shortcut over here we're going to use. Let's see, timber wolves anyway. Even if the timber wolves were to show up, we should be alright outrunning them. Meaning for that to do that. There's also a campsite over here which we can quickly jump into and have a look at. There's some more wood, which we'll take. We're not going to use a snow shelter if anything. Keep running. And then it's over here. Let's grab this for tinder. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it's too cold. Think. Yeah, you're going to be a bit cold, Astrid. I'm sorry. And then we go here and climb this. And this is actually blocked, but it is possible to get through it. We're just walking on the sides like this. And then I think it's through, through here, I think. Uh, there we go, yeah. So you can get past that. Then we're pretty much just going to follow the secret mountain path. 
until we get to the end. And we got the wind against us a little bit, but not too bad. There's Bleak Inlet for you, the actual delta. We can jump down here if you want, but I'm going to go further. Doesn't matter too much. I like to avoid taking damage if I can, but it's not the end of the world if I do. There's a cave down there I can loot if I want to. Let me jump here. And now we're going to come to the end of this, where there is also a body, usually. Uh, which we could loot, I suppose, just in case I have something on him. Unless the way down there is awkward. Could be awkward ways down too. So why, why do we spawn? We spawn noon, so I need to finish this by roughly noon the next day. That would be tricky, but doable. And we're going to go this way over there. I don't think it's worth actually uh, going up there. Instead, we should go down here. Just to make sure this is safe. It is down this way. And if Timberwolves appear, we should be able to circumvent them, I believe. We have the wind kind of against us. Not great, but... There we go. And let's get out of here. Ravine send. Oops. There we go. And over here is the exit. And then later we're gonna come back by the ravine and go down this way and come over here. You're gonna be back here basically. If I can manage a shortcut, I've only done it a few times and it's uh, buggy. No Timberwolves, so we're fine with that. Frostbite risk, it doesn't matter too much if we do get Frostbite because we're going to... Um, we're going to take some health loss anyway. And we are going to make some teas when we have to. I'm going to grab these. Grab all of these for teas. I don't think we'll need too many teas, but we're going to grab some. Now we can make six. But it does take 45 minutes to craft these, so it's something you do while you make something else. I'm going to keep running. I'm going to ignore this wolf carcass that's here. And we'll also grab this. There's one row sip tea. And then I only have a flare and a marine flare, so we're gonna use that. And let's keep going here. So we're actually uh, not warm, so what we're going to do is make a uh, fire soon. There we are. So I'm going to now make a fire. And using this. And then I can grab some torches while I'm at it. So we're going to do our first small cooking session here. Put a coal on here. And then we're going to take um, some torches while we warm up a little bit to grab some of these. You don't have to boil all the water. I think that's a bad torch. Okay, well, maybe we can't spare the bad torches. So we're going to grab what we can. All the torches we can. That's good. I'm going to take.
take this, grab it, know that, and keep going. And I'm going to walk this entire way because I'm warming up while I'm walking. And there's no point sprinting when I'm in a warm area. We're going to just check here quickly uh, because I would like to see if there's coal. We're going to go this route here. Yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Mini detail via the atrium just because of this coal here. There's only one of them. Oh, we are warming up, and that's good enough. We're gonna have to make some fires in this challenge. There we go, and then we go this way, and then we come to our bed, which we're not going to use. But there might be another flare here, and there is. And then we're gonna keep going. We're not gonna check anything down there. I'll grab the stick though. And then we're going to come out. This is Larry's cave, but Larry's not going to be there because Larry does not spawn um, on Asted Sleep. On Asted Sleep, rabbits and deer have been disabled, so you don't you don't have any of that. So no Barry today, or, or Larry rather, or, or Barry either. <laughs> That's why I call rabbits. So here we're coming out. And then we're going to do a little trick here. We're going to exit and immediately head back and grab these pieces of coal. Maybe that one too, but we can leave that. And I think we have enough. I'm going to grab these. And let's grab a stone for the wolves. Light the next torch. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some more of these mushrooms. And then I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to take the route to Tim Wolf Mountain rather than the route to Broken Railroad. So most people go to Broken Railroad first and then they go to the rest. We're not going to do that. We're going to go to Tim Wolf Mountain first instead. There's the wolf. Let's quickly check down here if there is anything. Doesn't seem like there is. We're gonna get cold, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about losing health. As long as it's within reason. As long as it's like, say, 50% or something. The wolf is not really going to be much of an issue. Because I have the torch. As long as the torch doesn't blow out. If it does, I have a flare. There we are, we're cold again. But we're making time. We're gonna make teas to warm up, but not right now. We're gonna get into the camp office first. And we're not gonna to do too much loot scouting there because... Um, yeah, because we're gonna make some teas and stuff there probably. There we are. I don't think we need many more mushrooms or anything. I'm not too worried about it. the wolves when necessary waiting for my sprint to recharge I can sprint in one go <clears throat> we, see, we have a corpse over here so we're going to grab that corpse as well or rather what's on it and if I can travel light that's best what I'm looking for when I travel uh, and check buildings in this speed run is uh, first of all coffee but also um, clothing in the plug, okay. Okay, that's the recharge. We're not gonna grab any of these mushrooms. We don't need them right now. We're just gonna run. So we can get to the camp office as soon as possible. And take as little damage as possible. It's better to start fires there. Because then I can uh, loot and organize myself in the camp office. While things are cooking. 
and there'll be a can there so we can use double can and stuff like that it's just better than doing it in the cave which is of course also an option there's usually a wall first so you have to be a bit careful with that also i don't have matches so i have to be careful that i find matches soon uh, or the maglens of course but i need matches as well i'll find matches in the farm though keep running and here we go. There we are, now we can wait and recharge. We're gonna keep taking cold damage, but that's okay. We just wanna make progress, basically. We're gonna be using at least three stims in this uh, run anyway. So as long as we maintain our health, I, I would say I'm willing to go to at least half of my health gone. Um, to be safe, but even less is okay because it's a challenge and not survival. This isn't no goa, it is uh, well, I guess it's speed no goa <laughs> in a way. <clears throat> so let's check over here. Okay, grab the oh, so yeah, the wood disappeared, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. Let's grab uh, these quick, please don't take long so. Nothing there. And we also have uh, the corpse over here. Grab that quick. Nothing there. Those were pointless to loot, but I didn't know that yet, of course. And that's not a loading screen, so I can't loot scout that. Let's get to camp office ASAP. And when we get to the first thing we want to do is head upstairs and start cooking uh, water and things while we loot the rest of the stuff. I don't think we need to loot count scouting in the camp office because we're going to spend some time there. And by the time, the time it takes to cook water and things, um, I will have looted everything probably. Let's keep checking. So we're taking, we're losing about one third of our health doing this, but we're making good time though. So we need to go to Timwolf Mountain, Desolation Point, Ravine, Broken Railroad, and Hushed River Valley. We're gonna do it in that uh, order. Right, so here we are. So here we're going to do a bigger cooking session. I'm gonna grab this though, I think I'm missing one. And then we're inside. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going now it's saved, but we're gonna go up here and create a fire. Uh, yeah, go. I don't know if I was carrying a book. I don't think I was. I could have grabbed the book though. Let's just make that fire and we have that. Then we'll cook some water. We can also grab some water in the in the um, dam, so we don't need too much water. There we are. Now let's put on this because it's heavy. There we are. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna make some water. And to maintain this, I'm going to loot around a bit while we do that. And check also for the mag lens, not there. And mag lens there, no, we don't really need the mag lens. Book, let's take the book. Uh, and then check down here. We'll loot all of this stuff. There's two. And the pot's faster, so I'm gonna grab that. We don't really need the food, but I'll take it anyway. Let's check for maglens here. It'll look like it's there. And then also we'll check over here in the corner. 
Mag lens is there, so at least we have that for a clear day if you don't find matches. We don't need this uh, or anything else, I guess. Bandage. Alright, so that's pretty much everything. We're warming up. And here we can make our first tea session, just to have that done. So what, I'm going to wait for this to boil, so while it's doing that, I'm going to craft one of these. So I'm going to do this one, just to warm up a little bit. <coughs> and that's seven minutes and six minutes, so I'm going to make one more while that boils. And then I can grab a torch, grab the water, grab the water. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my first loot scouting in this area. I'm going to grab a torch. And I'm going to leave. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go back in again, so it saves. <coughs> and then back out again, so now it's saved. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the lookout tower. A little bit of a detour. But if there is coffee there, it's worth going there. If there isn't coffee, it's not worth checking it out, so then it's a waste of time. There is one risk though, which is if I get sprains. If I get sprains going up there, the game will save, and then we're kind of stuck in that save. I believe you can get up uh, this way. We could also check over there, but that's not really necessary. Um, so we're going to go this way instead. Uh, we could check it, but I'm not sure what there would be there. I mean, maybe there would be a wool took. I guess I, I guess if we're loot scouting, we might as well check it just to see what there is here. And then I'll know. And if both these areas are worth checking out, then I will just continue from here. But if they're not worth checking out, I'm going to exit and come back. Over there, there's not much to collect. We're just checking this. Oops. Oops. And we have box with nothing, probably. And all of this guy, nothing or nothing, yeah. And while we're here, so that's a waste of a trip. We'll also check here. Check this guy. He has nothing. I'm guessing here there's nothing. Uh, antibiotics, which is not that... Important. Let me scare away the wolves. And then we're going to check up here for coffee. Hopefully not get attacked by the wolf. And hopefully not get a sprain. I thought it wasn't there. I thought I wanted to check. Let's see. If there is coffee up here, it's worth going. But if not, it's not worth it. But let's make our way up here. Most of this run is just going to be... Um, uh, making sure things are optimized to get the best time. We're starting to get tired, and when the fatigue meter is this drained, you might as well just utilize uh, what you got left and sprint. Because if you just walk normally, eventually it will die out anyway, and you're going to be forced to walk, so you might as well use it while you can. <coughs> Approaching six hours soon, I think, which isn't great. Let's see what we got there, if anything. Do a short sprint as well, before this expires. So there it's gone. Brain risk. Yeah, we're not heavy though, yet. <laughs> 
Ignore this wall for now. Alright, so let's see what we got inside here, if it's worth coming up here. And here we have... Uh, nothing really, there's this, which is nice. Nothing there. Hmm, don't see anything else. Yeah, uh, there's nothing here. So it's no point really coming up there. Yeah, the wolf. He's kind of stuck in the stairs. <laughs> he can't figure out what to do. <laughs> but he's in the stairs. <laughs> Buggy wolf. Anyway. Here he comes. Oh, he ran away. Anyway, there was no loot there, so then we're gonna exit. That was not worth the effort. So then we'll do the same, we'll resume. We'll leave. And this time we're going to go and check. Uh, there's usually not much over there, but we're going to check out the Lake Overlook Cave instead. And then head towards the dam. And the dam will definitely do loot scouting. So let's, let's do this instead. I'm getting tired. As you can see, we drain our uh, fatigue very, very fast. This route is worth taking regardless of whether we find anything, because this is the faster way to the dam. Also notice how we're not really cold anymore, because the weather is clear, and we have a torch and everything. So we're okay. <coughs> But let's keep going. There's the deer carcass, that's the crows you're hearing. And then we're gonna check out this cave. I still haven't got any matches, I just have the mag lens, so I need to preserve this torch. I will find matches in the farm though in Pleasant Valley. We we'll also find the first stim in the barn, which you need to use to get to Tim Wolf Mountain. Let's check here. Anything here? Doesn't seem like it. No. Nope. We can leave. Let's do some sprint. I'm gonna take the go over this and down to get to the dam faster. Down here. a new torch. At the moment cold isn't an issue so we don't need teas yet which is great. There's the first sprain. In fact that sprain is worth repairing right now because I'm going to be running. And then we're going to head to the dam. And hopefully there isn't a moose, because if the moose is there, <laughs> then I need to dodge the moose, and it's a little bit annoying. Um, but it, of course, it shouldn't be a major issue. You can pick up birch bark in Asted Sleep, I believe. But it will be used for Tinder only. So now we can't revert back to our um, uh, previous save because of the um, sprain. Don't need any of this stuff. Now please don't be moose. You can't hear any moose noises, so I think we're right. <coughs> don't see markings either. I don't think it's here. Alright, 
Then I would like to preserve this torch until I get to the farm. I do have a flare, of course, so I'll be okay. There isn't much in these trailers, but I'm gonna check the right trailer to see what there is there. And then I can do the same thing. I can do loot scouting for that. To see what there is, if anything. The wolf is around. You can see the footsteps, or footprints rather. There it is. So let's quickly see what there is in here. And here we have this, which had nothing. This has nothing. This has this antibiotics, which we don't really need. Uh, we'll check this too. Nothing, that's locked. This, nothing. And more nothing. So this had literally nothing that's worth grabbing. So then we'll do the same. Uh, we all, it only takes a couple in-game minutes, so this is barely anything, but time is time. Let me go back out. Uh, when you exit, uh, and load again like I'm doing now. One drawback is that the game can change its weather when you do it. Which isn't ideal. You don't really want that. So it can be a blizzard and then you go out and in again the blizzard's gone or the blizzard's back, you know. But that's not so, so great. And here we'll do some loot scouting as well because this is a huge place. We're going to check out what things there are to loot here on the way through it. And we're just going to check everything to see if there's any random loot that we want. We're going to definitely loot scout here. So let's just check. This could be useful maybe for uh, accelerant. Because I don't think we have accelerant. No. So that's a possibility of grabbing that. And then we got to check all this stuff to see if there's anything worth picking up. At the moment, there's nothing. But if I load it again, it's not guaranteed to be there. It can change. We're going to check. <clears throat> nothing. Mostly we're looking for clothing and coffee. At the moment, we have nothing other than the jerry can. We also need the water, of course. We are sewing kit. We don't need that. So far, there's nothing. Food is not really that big a deal, uh, but food is okay to get as well. We don't really have much of it, but we have some. Uh, then we'll check. That's locked. Yeah, there's nothing. We can check this, but there's nothing in, in there ever. Uh, we can check this one. Check this. As you can see, there's nothing so far. Oh, matches. So there's matches in there. That's that's good to know. So that's one thing. We have toilet water, 1.3. We're gonna grab both of those. Uh, let me check if there's anything in here. But so far there's only one thing. And that's this container that had matches. Let's see if I can remember that. And let's go upstairs, a place you normally wouldn't loot in this challenge. See what we can find there. The matches in green container. Uh, in my experience, when I've done this before, I've very rarely done this in practice in a challenge before because it's too boring to do and there's very few challenges where it makes any real difference. But when I have done this, in my experience, if you find items and then load again, maybe two out of three items will still be there, the others will have despawned. So some are predetermined by the game, I guess, and some are not. At the moment, we only have the matches in the green container. The rest is nothing. But I have found coffee in these before. Keep checking. See if any of this is useful. At the moment, we have no winners. And if I do find something up here at the end, it depends on how good it is. So 
Okay, and then we have finally in here. Now I have found coffee before randomly in a drawer. But I could just be just just that really, just random. <clears throat> no. So far there's nothing. Let's see if there's one in the last one here, it'd be funny. Newspaper. And this is the last one. Okay, so nothing. So in the second floor there was nothing like at all. None of them had anything uh, of worth. There was one or two locked ones, but we can ignore those. The second floor we can safely skip and not loot that. At the moment we just have the matches in the green container. And let's also check here. <coughs> There is, here there is a plastic container, there's nothing, and we have this. Summit Soda, I'm not too bothered about that, but, uh, but I think we'll leave that unless there's something else here. Check all of this stuff. Don't get an Aurora now please and mess up the whole thing. Alright, so this is not worth checking out either. And then the safe is a bit unusual because the safe, uh, the code will change when I exit, but I think the content remains the same. Uh, nothing there, painkills. So far we only really have the jerry can and the matches. And nothing else. Uh, we'll check that in a sec. It's going to see if there's anything else here. But at the moment, it's just jerry can and matches, and that's it. Now let's see what's in here. Uh, it looks like it was 12 or something. 11. Okay, 11. And... 45, I think. 46. 11... 30 something, 38, 11, 38, and See what's in there. We have cash, and that's it. Okay. I don't f believe it changes, so that's also something not worth losing. So this whole floor then is pretty much just the jerry can if I want it uh, for um, uh, for the oil for accelerant, which I guess I could use, and the uh, matches in the green box. That's it, there's nothing else to loot. Then we can check here as well. There isn't really much in this area though, but we could check because sometimes it's little things. So like over here there can be something, but I don't see anything. No. And there can also be something up here. And we might as well just check in case it's something of high value, which would be like a, a flare, a fire striker is also there. But if I find the matches, I don't really need the fire striker. And I don't think we can open this one. Okay, yeah, we can. Let's see what we got here. How much cloth have I found? Nothing. Nothing here, and then finally we have over here. And 
there is a flare. And I don't think it's worth taking that whole detour just for that. So that means that in this whole level, the only thing was the jerry can and the matches. And what we're going to do now is the same exit. It said saving there, but of course it wasn't saving really. And now we're going to do exactly that. We're going to grab the jerry can. <clears throat> we're going to grab the matches if they are there. They weren't at that time, so this time you see they despawned, so you're not guaranteed. It's not random now, so if I check all the other things, uh, there shouldn't be anything in that's different. But uh, some of the things that had stuff in it won't have it in, uh, anymore. So you gotta gamble. So basically the way I'm doing it now, it's faster. But there is a chance it's not there. So I could spend like an hour in-game to loot. Let's say I found coffee. And I spend an hour in-game checking and I find coffee. I was like, oh great. And then I load it and this time the coffee is not there. Then um, at least I save an hour, right? So you gotta make a decision if it's worth it. I'm gonna have a little drink because I'm getting a bit thirsty there. So there we go. Then I'm going to check the next level here. We're not going to loot everything here either. It's going to take too long. Uh, and we can't go out the other way. So it takes too long to loot the rest of the dam. Only going to check the immediate area. Uh, we'll check this guy just to see. He had nothing. And let's check here. Also nothing. 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 And this, nothing. We have these. Break. Lantern fuel was the only thing I could maybe use there. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be anything here. No, and we don't really need anything further in because we're not going to spend time doing that. So just to save a couple minutes, I'm doing this again. Uh, resume. And we can check to see if there is something <laughs> this time. But other than that, we don't really need anything here. Nobody needs that and fuel. We'll take. So this time you had the same items. I'm going to do the shortcut. Um, I don't think we can check this quick. Nothing there. Uh, I think the shortcut can be done without sprinting. We're going to give it a try at least. If not, I have to go the long way around. There's a lot of coffee. But there's a shortcut here across Winding River that we can take. Let's see if we can uh, get there without running. It's a little bit tricky, but it should be doable. It's over here. Can it be done without sprinting? I'm not sure it can actually. No, it just takes us here. I don't think it can be done. If I get a sprain now, this run is kind of over. I'm not over really, but... I'm going to try one more time just to see if um, if it can be done. How about that? Let's see if it's doable. If not, I have to take the long way. I've never actually done this shortcut uh, without running. Okay, so let's see. Basically, you need to get over on that uh, ridge there, if that's the issue. So, uh, we can't sprint, so I don't think it can be done uh, without sprinting. It doesn't look like it, no. Because we need to basically get on top of this little thing here. Campfire jump we could maybe do. We need to get up on this one. Is it worth trying a campfire trick? Hmm, 
I think we'll just go around. It's just easier. So we're gonna do that instead. Also, it's a shortcut, but you don't save that much time on the shortcut. So I don't think it's worth it. Get the lantern fuel. So instead, it's gonna go around the usual way. I will save maybe like a minute or two real time if I could do the shortcut, but it seems like we need sprinting to do it, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, it doesn't seem worth the hassle. We're gonna go the usual way. Mine is a little shortcut. <clears throat> and I need to be wary of this torch, seeing as I don't have any matches. I do have a flare though, so if I need to light the fire, I can do it. I'm utilizing the warmth of the day to travel without taking any damage, except for fatigue damage. And then we want to go here, and basically go up here. And then this is now about to burn out. This is a small shortcut, not very big, but... And then we jump down here, and then here, and then here. A little jump, but we shouldn't take any damage from this. It's like marginally there. Let's grab a tinder. If I'd been able to do the shortcut, I would have been soon there. We're not going to check this area. There's usually nothing there except uh, I guess this bedroll, which we don't really need. And in Signal Hill, we can also loot faster, of course. So I would say that if I had taken the shortcut and managed, I would have been in the cave about now, I would say. And we're now approaching the six hour mark-ish. So we need to start finding uh, coffee and stuff. And we need a stim for Timwolf Mountain. Timwolf Mountain, we are going to uh, loot scout the hut. We might just go in the hut anyway. I'm not sure we'll loot scout it. <coughs> and now we're entering the cave. Uh, there isn't really much to worry about here. There'll be some pieces of coal and stuff, but that's about it. There we go. Signal Hill, I might make a fire to just uh, eat up some things. Make some teas while I loot. And I'd ideally like to not get hungry, but it's not a big deal if I get hungry because it's only 1%. And you know, this, this should be, you know, I don't think the chance will go on long enough for that to make a real difference. But if I can avoid it, it's better. Okay. Two torches left. My fingers feel numb. Could be alright, but I can also make a fire and grab some torches if I need to, especially now that I ha I brought the jerry can. So I can just make one with an accelerant, then grab some torches and then leave. That works just fine. There we are in the cave. We don't need anything here. Might be some coal and stuff like that, but that's about it. We could check this guy. I don't think he'll have anything on him though. How heavy are we? We're not too heavy, so this is acceptable. Grab the coal. And then off we go. If I can be light, it would be fantastic, but it's not strictly necessary. I will move it faster though. But we'll do a little sit rep once we get to um, to the signal hill. I'm not gonna check down here. We could do loot scouting here for the, the little campfire and stuff that's there, but it saves 
such a marginal amount of time if there's nothing that I'm not going to bother with that, I don't think. But over here there's a campfire and a backpack. Can find a wool toucan, which is fantastic if we do that. But it's nothing. Onwards we go. And then we're going to go up here and I might actually make a fire up here quickly. Just so I can grab some more torches. And we might as well, if that's the case, just do a short sit rep here. So that we can uh, organize ourselves a little. It sounds like it's windy out also. Grab this and then that and we'll just make quickly a fire here. We can just use a stick, a torch, go. And we'll put uh, a couple of coal on here, maybe, maybe even two. And then we're going to use this and that. I'm going to use this to boil that water and this to make a tea. I'll do anything and for a then I'm going to sort myself out a bit here. Uh, is there anything I can get rid of, for example? I don't really think this we can get rid of. This we can get rid of. Two of these we can get rid of. Uh, we can also get rid of this. Uh, unless I can keep it for now, actually, in case I need it for the farm. And these are heavy, but that's okay. Uh, we have only two tinders, three tinders, technically. Uh, and then we can make this tea. And then we can also eat something. We're going to eat this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got food poisoning. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Good thing that I'm making a Raishi. That was really good condition as well. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll consider it a handicap. Let's grab some torches. Uh, these are bad torches. I think now we can afford grabbing only good ones. Let's drink that for the food poisoning. Which is annoying. What are you going to do? Grab some more torches. I'm actually going to lose health because this will um, require that I... Um, uh, that I sleep to get rid of it, but we're not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to be walking around with food poisoning for the mo rest of this run for the most part. We'll just consider it a handicap. Yeah. The irony that I decided to eat something to not take damage from hunger and instead I got food poisoning. How fun. We are not going to sleep. A food poisoning will eventually leave the system anyway. And if I get very low, then uh, well, we'll just start again. <laughs> Consider it a practice run, I guess. Right, so then we leave, and now we're going to hit the Signal Hill. Very often we'll find coffee in Signal Hill and or uh, the farm. And Signal Hill also often has good loot. So we're going to go and check that. And then we'll just have to see what we can do. It's windy, but I think it's just marginally not so windy that uh, the torch blows out. Up there, there's not really much. We could drop by it though, uh, only because up here, you always get the salted crackers. And the salted crackers is, after all, um, it's 600 calories. So it uh, removes the hunger issue. If you say 1% health. So I could just pop by and grab that very quickly. It's not really a big detour. Let's just grab, let's check here quick. Nothing there except Tinder. <clears throat> and then we're going to check out this cave. Wolves can be around here, but I don't think it'd be too big of an issue. We have the wind in our back, so I can walk faster. Over here we can find the salted crackers, so we're going to grab that. I mean, we can... We can check the uh, backpack while we're here. Nothing there though. 
Then we'll do this. Did the wind change? No, it's kind of like on the side. So it's, it's kind of against us, but not extremely. I think it did change a little bit actually, yeah, it did. We're gonna head straight forward towards the signal hill. I don't know though if I will actually use any coffees. Uh, maybe I'll drink one. If there are coffees, you know, I'll make them as soon as I can. But I don't think I'll drink many. I might drink one so I can sprint towards uh, Timwolf Mountain. But then we want to use a stim to reach Timwolf Mountain anyway. And there's no point using coffees to gain energy back if we're going to stim anyway. I am losing health because of food poisoning though, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. <clears throat> Let's get up to a single hill. This is slow because of the wind. It's right in my face. I also hope the bear isn't there. I think we should be able to make it there without getting cold though. Because it's still warm enough. So let's just keep going. This is to quite tough. But we should be okay. As much as I would love to sleep to get rid of the food poisoning, I'm just going to have to consider the handicap at this point. Um, it's at least stabilized with the... Um, with the Raishi tea. <clears throat> you don't have that. It drains a lot more. Oh, come on. If this wind is just awful. I would love it if I was lighter as well. But we're not going to get well fed or anything. Uh, there's nothing really to gain in terms of uh, carry capacity in this run. Uh, at a stretch, you could in... If you went to Tim Wolf Mountain first, you could pop by Ash Canyon, I suppose, to um, grab the backpack. Well, that's a really big detour and totally not worth it, in my opinion. Okay, that expired, but we should be okay getting indoors. And then we might take some cold damage leaving Signal Hill, but that's okay as long as we can get to the farm. Then we're going to loot Scout Scene Hill probably, and if not, we're going to do it with the farm. <clears throat> Come on, almost there. And here we should be able to find some good loot as well. Come on, come on. Go. Wind is really against me today. Come on. Almost there. Gosh, it is slow. <laughs> Excuse me for one second. The cold is making my head feel thick. Alright. So let's see what we got in here. We're gonna have to use the flare. Because I don't have any other I guess we used the marine flare. So let's see what we got here. Let's open everything. <clears throat> Locked. And nothing under there. And we have that. Uh, there shouldn't be anything around here really. But I still like to check. Check these things. Gonna make the coffee in the farm though if we find anything not here. Okay, so nothing here to loot except the flare. We'll use a regular flare to loot this, I think. Coffee! There is coffee, there's also food, there's hammer which we don't need. So there's the flare to loot, but that's it in that part. Uh, nothing there, but we also probably have, we have combat pants and we have anything else. We have boots. I 
And wow, air wrap. I hope that's there when I do it again. <laughs> it didn't take very long, but it was longer than necessary. Let me um, load that again. And let's continue. And we're going to grab a regular flare. What? I didn't that. Now we're going to grab this. I'm gonna grab the air wrap if it's there this time. It wasn't there this time, it seems, unless it was this one. It was this one, okay. And that one, and then this, and then coffee, and these things. And that's it, really. Let's put this on and that on. And these might be better, they are better, so let's get rid of these. Alright, then we can head back out. <coughs> then we're gonna head to the farm. We can also use this to cook. They're heavy, but it's gonna have to live with it. Sound like the bear. Hmm. Probably gonna take some more cold damage now, which isn't fun. But I'm just gonna tank it and consider it a handicap. Let's head down here. Let's get to the farm as soon as we can. Avoiding too much damage. Down we go. <clears throat> and in the farm, we're going to make some fires. I don't think we need to loot scout in the farm because we are going to cook quite a few coffees and things anyway. Ow, that was unexpected. Wait, it was so cold and And now we're taking quite a lot of damage because we're cold. So we're just gonna have to walk it off. Keep going. And now the wind is against us, of course. And now we're so slow. Oof, we're gonna take a lot of damage getting uh, there. But it is what it is. I'm gonna maximize this oh. by... Getting to the farm, I don't care if I have low health, as long as I get there alive. And I can warm up there. I'll drink a coffee uh, as soon as we can, really. The coffee also mitigates uh, health. So the coffee is actually the... A hot, a drinking a hot coffee is the only item in the game that fixes all four meters at once because it will give you warmth i'm not that heavy am i no i'm not it will give you um warmth it will give you fatigue back it will give you hydration and it will give you calories so it does all of them so it's a very powerful thing so let's uh check out the farm okay now we're going a bit faster and then once I get in there, I'm going to start a fire. I'm going to use as many of the slots as I can. And then while it's cooking, I'm going to um, loot the house. Find a can open. I can cook some of the other things to use that as heat as well. And we'll stay there for a short period of time. So here we are. So see how much health we lost. We lost a lot, but we are going to use the stim. I think this is acceptable, but it is a little low, lower than I would like, and food poisoning doesn't help. <laughs> really does not help. But it is what it is. <clears throat> I think we should get there in time to be able to use this flare to make a uh, fire. But even if not, I'm actually going to go via the basement. And loot, I'm going to loot scout the base basement, but not the upstairs because of the loading issue. We're going to go in the basement, grab the matches, and I'll just check also if there's anything else. Uh, we don't really need that, I suppose, but still, what we want though are these matches. Anything else is the question. Nothing there, no hacksaw. Um, 
Ah, here's the hacksaw. We'll grab the hacksaw. In case we want it for something. Ketchup yeah. chips at the bottom one. Bandage. Okay, so the drawer is worth checking. Those the drawer. Socks as well. Okay. So a few things there to, to grab. Let's just do that first. Oops. So we'll go and grab this. This. Didn't have anything this time. That didn't have anything either. This socks. No socks. Now that socks are in there. Tools, we don't need that. Okay, and then I think we can just barely manage to light a fire with this before it goes out. Now we're coming in here, and if I mess it up, I can always do it again. We're gonna go here. Light a fire with this. Go. Chuck that somewhere. Put a bunch of things on here. And then we're going to grab a torch so you can see better. Grab that. Grab this. Then we can cook the this. And that. And that, and that, and we can have a look around while it's cooking all that stuff. Beaches, which we can also eat. It doesn't matter if we get food poisoning because we already have food poisoning. But that's good. Uh, maple. there. We don't really need water, but I can grab some. Also check this. And here we have ketchup chips, which I'll grab. Gloves. Uh, a book. Can opener, which is what I wanted. It sounds like it's practically ready now. Drink that. Check this. Okay, we got a few things. Check this also while we're at it. All right. So we're gonna now. How's this looking? Yeah. Not too great. <laughs> this is all done. Grab these. And we can cook this. And this, and that. And then this as well. I'm gonna drink a coffee already now, just because it stops the drain of health. And then we're gonna, while this cooks, go upstairs. We are losing a lot of health because of the food poisoning, which is very annoying. It may be the end of the run. We'll have to see. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. it does seem like there is a blizzard out there, so that's no good. Pretty much it uh, of looting stuff. Don't need anything in there. T-shirts. Oh, okay, some stuff. And it's sort out our clothing before we brace ourselves for this massive thing. All right. So uh, let's also just eat this. We already have food poisoning, so eating more stuff doesn't really make a difference anymore. We can just open all of this stuff. Um, let's drink all of this, or eat all of this rather. Uh, 
And then we also want to put this on and then that. Is any of this warmer? No. And this? Is any of this warmer? No. 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 That on. That's warmer. Get rid of this. And then that's about it, I guess. Uh, we can get rid of... You can now take these, and these, this, and this. And then that's it. The problem also with food poisoning, it drains our stamina much, much more than normally. We're gonna give it a try though. See if we can get there. Nothing is gonna work though. We're losing how fast because of the uh because of the food poisoning. That's our main issue right now. If it wasn't for the food poisoning, this run would be going fine. But the food poisoning messed it up. With a tin of sardines that was like max quality. Coffee soon. At the moment, we are managing all right. How many torches have I got? Nine. Yeah, I think we're gonna take too much damage. The the food poisoning will eventually get out of the body anyway, so it does get cured by itself. But it takes a long time for that to happen. And by the time that happens, I'm probably just dead, I think. I don't think I'm going to survive through the food poisoning. Uh, I would have to sleep to do it, which I could do, but then there's no speedrun anymore. <clears throat> so it's kind of pointless. And being food poisoned also, you drain your fatigue much faster, so the coffees do a lot less, which is really not fun. But I think this run is GG because of a tin of sardines. I try it again another time. Okay, let's see how far we can go though. We can always uh, heat up the coffees. For the rest of the journey, if I can manage, we need to go to the plane crash to grab uh, clothing there. Oh, we don't really need to do it, but I think it's best. Okay, so that ended, so we can light the torch then, maintain our warmth. We're not really cold anymore, not really. We're losing some fatigue. Uh, we might be able to maintain it with coffee, which I'm going to do after I reach the barn. And then we need to go to the plane, I guess, to see what clothing there is. I guess we don't really need need to do it, but we should. The stim, we cannot use the stim until we get to the rope. I mean, I guess we could use the stim to... Um, and then use coffee, but... That's really, really backwards, a way of doing it. It's a wolfie. Two wolfies. Go away. So let's see how fast we can get in the red with this food poisoning and everything. See how that goes. <laughs> I think I'll probably go in the red once I enter here. I'm going to drink a coffee after I go inside to see if that uh, reduces it a little bit. I'm going to use the coffee mostly to prevent fatigue loss. Yeah, so that's saved. And then we got this. Then we're looking for the stim. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't seem to be in here yet. Yeah, there it is. You can also check quickly to see if there's any other loot of interest, which I don't think there is. Uh, but we 
can check. We can do a quick loot scout just to see what there is. Well, this stuff will come in handy. So the stim is in the car. Nothing here. What about here? Doesn't seem like there's really anything uh, to really loot. We can check this too, but I don't know what there would be in here though. Field leather. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do that again. Try this again. I'm drinking a coffee to sustain health loss. And then we're gonna go here. Grab the stim. Go out. And I'm gonna leave right away. And if we get cold, we're going to light a fire on the way there. Not right now. We're gonna take advantage of the weather now. We're basically gonna go almost back to the um, plane crash. And I would like to sprint, using the coffee to sprint, but the issue is that I'm actually using it now to mitigate um, the food poisoning. <laughs> so we're gonna do that instead. And when it's very, very low, then I'll do a little sprint. But at the moment, we're just going to use it to mitigate the uh, fatigue loss. If I can make it to the Timwolf Mountain entrance, I can use the stim there, but I don't think it's actually going to happen. I think it's a bit... taking too much damage because of the food poisoning. I don't think it's actually... Uh, this is a viable run. I don't think so. <coughs> Give it a try though. It is already draining. The food poisoning just drains it completely. And I have to use the coffee as a mitigating sustenance now. What it's really is meant to be for is to um, make sure that I can sprint longer. But I can't because of this. The fatigue drains so fast now. But there is nothing I can really do about it. And ideally, you want to just end the run when the food poisoning happened. But I want to see if it's just doable. I want to see if it's doable. If it's possible to recover from this position. Can it be done? And still do a speed run? I believe the answer is no. <laughs> I don't think this run can be saved. <clears throat> Does food poisoning can cure itself? But that's something you almost exclusively do on lower difficulties. So if you get food poisoning while you have, say, you know, full health and you're playing on Voyager, you can just go to bed and sleep and it will eventually just dissipate. But here I don't think that will count. We're also getting cold now, so I'm gonna have to make another oh, fire soon. Sure, getting cold. Fatigue is ending as well, so I think we are near the end here, folks. I think this is near the end. We'll make a fire here, though, quickly. Uh, with this. Uh, just to oh, warm yeah. up, and then we'll place all we'll this to here. warm it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. There isn't really anything else to do. Oh yeah, we can place this also, I guess. It might be better to do it this way. Oh yeah. 
takes a bit less time that way, I guess. We need to drink a coffee again to sustain. Oh, I didn't actually mean to pass time. I meant to actually drink it. Whoops. That's all right. We're just scraping by here. What we're doing. Scraping by. Using coffee to ensure um, that we don't die. <laughs> But I think that uh, this run is more or less doomed. I have 12 hours and a bit. I basically have until nightfall the next day to beat the world record. Uh, my own record is... It will be around midnight. It will be about 24 hours from now. <clears throat> Can it be done? I don't think so. I think the food poisoning is not going to get cured in time. Uh, I think I'm just going to die. But I will try my best. I will try my best. And I'm forced to use the coffee <coughs> just to um, survive. And because of that, and I only have one coffee left now, because of that, um, the loot scouting technique is kind of done because it doesn't really do much anymore. But we'll see what, what we can manage. That's gonna expire now too in a sec. And then we have to drink the last of the coffees. And after this, we are out of coffees. And now I'm gonna start taking fatigue damage. Not a lot of damage, but I have my doubts we'll even be able to make it to Timberwolf Mountain Exit. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe. I don't think so. But even if I do make it, I'll gain some health. But then that's it. Then it's back to the square one. I could, of course, like I said before, I could, of course, sleep. I could, you know, I have enough food and stuff. I could sleep. And that will cure the food poisoning. That's going to take 10 hours. And... Then it's not a speed run anymore by definition. Then it's just a question of finishing the run. And that's pointless. So instead we're trying to scrape by with food poisoning. But I think we would need so many coffees to do it. So we're gonna loot a couple of um of suitcases on the way to Team of Mount, but not all of them, because I don't know if I don't think we'll actually survive until we get there. I don't think. Okay, we're still warming up a little bit. Let's quickly eat something. Eat this. We still have we have food poisoning already, so who cares if we eat something so low condition? Oops. And now that oh, I've done that, right? Well, it's a match then. Now we're losing health, and the issue now is that not going to work out. I'm just going to die from food. I'm, I'm doing a slow death here from food poisoning is what's happening. And it's very unfortunate. But uh, it maybe, maybe I'll survive long enough to get to the grave. And then when we come back to Pleasant Valley, there sometimes is coffee in a cave. We could go grab that, which will stop the health loss again. But I just don't think we can outlive the uh, the food poisoning. I don't think we can. So I think we're just going to have to continue here. And I'm going to also eat this while it's still hot. Just to warm up a bit. So we can't get cold now. That's very important. I think this tactic would work. I think it would work. It's just that... Um, yeah, food poisoning. Messed it up really bad. I'm going to check over here because usually when I find stuff, it's on the, in these suitcases. Not always though, but... A good bet. I'm just going to check this uh, quickly. And we'll move on. 
docks, which are not too great. Break this one too. And then the corpse. And we'll check this one, and I won't check the other ones. It's more like it will check if that's warmer later though. I don't think it is warmer. Okay, I think we can make it to the bunker without dying. But barely. <laughs> I don't actually know how long it takes food poisoning to cure by itself. I know it can be cured by itself. And that I had the Raishi tea means that um, um, it's mitigated, but I'm still losing health from fatigue is the issue. That's the main problem here. Yeah, these are not hot, so. so now it's just a question of how far can I go? How far can I push this? I, I found coffee, I used it, but that coffee was literally just used to mitigate health loss. And it effectively saved me probably, I don't know how much it saved me, maybe five or 10%. That's it. I probably would have been dead by now if I didn't have the coffee. Um, so, but it, what the coffee was for <clears throat> was to um, increase my stamina so I could sprint. That was the point of getting the coffee. But instead, <laughs> I had to use it to survive. Oof. This is very, very brutal. Food poisoning. Messed the whole thing up. Could have just quit down there, but I just want to see how far I can push this, to be honest. Very quickly glance in here. See, there's nothing. And we'll loot scout the bunker. I don't think we really need anything in the bunker. But I'll check it just in case. I mean, we could sleep like one hour just to mitigate that, but I don't see the point. Uh, I think our best bet is to use the steam, get to the grave, stay warm while we're at it if possible. And then uh, hope there's coffee in a nearby cave. And then use the stim again in Coastal Highway. And then just see how far we can go, really. There isn't much more to it. Yeah. <clears throat> but we just have to see what we can do. It's gonna be tricky. See what we got here. Uh, go in here. See what we can do. And we'll loot scout this. Time is of the essence now because of uh, the fatigue loss. But at least we're warming up while we're here. Wow, they're all locked. Wow. They're literally all locked. I don't think there's anything in here then. Cloth. <clears throat> it seems like there isn't anything here then. Yeah, that was it. And we don't have a pry bar, so nothing to it. We can quickly do that. We can leave <coughs> and uh, load. And then grab the cloth and the book. Then we're going to do this. And how many matches do I have? I think I have enough matches. So we're not gonna spend time grabbing the torch again. But then we're gonna use this. <sighs> okay, so we made it here at least. And then we gotta run as far as we can. At least we're healing now, but we're also gonna get cold slightly. Doing 
find us for warmth. We have to get as far as we can. Uh, usually you will be able to get to the beginning of Timberwolf Mountain, so like where the path ends. We can maybe make a quick fire in the mountainous hut to warm up a bit. Just get there as fast as we can. Though we healed, so we, we, we were able, because of the coffees, we were able to actually not die. And the stim has brought us new life, but it's still going to slowly ebb away in time. Uh, so this is not really much of a speed run, but a survival speed run now. It's not a question of whether I can beat the world record or anything, because I can't. Uh, because of how the food poisoning messed up. But it is honestly a little bit interesting now to see if I can actually continue a speed run with food poisoning. Just to see what happens. I am a little bit invested in seeing if this can be done. Can I survive it while doing a speed run? While having food poisoning? I mean, maybe possible. Uh, the run can be salvaged, no problem. I can sleep. And then it will be okay. But that's not really the issue. The issue is I want to see if the speed run can be completed despite food poisoning. <clears throat> okay, it's getting cold, but I think we're not super cold. I think we'll actually be okay until we get to the hut. I think we will. If not, I have to make a fire. This is where the jerry can comes in really handy. So the jerry can from the dam. There's a huge uh, bonus in that regard. There's the moose, so I don't want to get stumped by that. Because the jerry can allows me to instantly make a fire very, very quickly in the event I get cold. And I'm going to make a fire over here as well. Because we need to warm up. I don't think we need to make one before... Um... Did I say the hot? I hate being cold? Because it really well, we'll see. We'll, we'll give her a look and, and see what's uh, what's up. Uh, I think we will just barely get inside without being cold. Barely. <clears throat> so we're gaining some health doing that, but we're still losing it again already because of. Um, Because of the fatigue, uh, we might take like 1% damage going in there, but I think it's either marginally doable or marginally not doable. So let's see what we got here. Let's see, are we going to get cold? Are we? Uh... Oh, we just barely did not get cold. How about that? And I'm not going to use the coal for this, I'm just going to put this on instead. It's as heavy as, as all that. Let's just uh, warm up here a bit, grab the matches. Uh, we can, how much water do we have? We have a, a little bit. Let's just look around a little bit. Oh wow, there's coffee here. Wow. Let's have a look here also. This is warmer. Let's drop this. That's uh, warmer than this. So let's drop this. And we have that. Coffee. We have tinder. Beef jerky. That. Well, that's big. That's big. Uh, warmer, so let's drop this. Worse and worse. Yeah, okay. So we found some coffee. That's funny. Uh, is that anything else going to be heated? No, just the coffee. Still have this food poisoning. It's just. Oof. Right, it is what it is. 
We're gonna melt this, um, and I'm gonna go just eat this. And this is uh, not gonna. We're gonna take take that. We're gonna leave that there. And while this is melting, I'm going to let's grab a better torch. So I'm gonna go grab the grave. over here. I don't think it will be cold doing it. If we do, I just kind of have to make another fire. I can't believe this run is still going. It's pretty crazy. And we may get lucky and get coffee. In a cave, there's a cave um, next to the Pleasant Valley, uh, well, Timor Mountain exit, and that can have coffee in it too. So we'll have a look for that. Grave. It's one done. Look at my shelf for losing. Because fatigue is 1% per hour, which isn't a lot, but because we, <clears throat> uh, you know, it's, we have how much health? Not a lot. We can actually find out, yeah. Oh no, we can't. Okay, well, there's very little. <laughs> so, uh, let's also check here if there's any of this we can use while that stuff is cooking. Uh, actually, we'll take that because that's tinder. All right, and we have a hat. So now we can't get frostbite risk anymore because we found a hat. How about that? <coughs> Small mercies, huh? And now, if I can make some coffee, I can actually mitigate the, uh, the health loss. But it's again where it's on thin, thin ice here, and I don't think we're going to survive long enough to, to actually pull this off. If I didn't have food poisoning, this would be fine. But I do have food poisoning, so... Messing everything up. Alright. I'm gonna make coffee. Make coffee. And this time we're going to actually... Raft some of this stuff. And I'm going to drink one of these now to mitigate while I'm doing the rest. Grab that. I don't think this should burn, so and we'll cook this. Cook this. While it's doing it, I'm gonna do another one of these. <coughs> I'm basically gonna do that until we don't have anything else to cook. We're spending a little bit of time doing that. But it's okay. I'm so tired, I think this another one of these there we lost a percent health there grab grab cook and cook place all of this stuff uh, here And while that's happening, we might as well also make one of these. Now we are close to dying. We're going to do what we can. Need more of these. A lot more of them, really. It's a bad one. That's good. this to mitigate damage which is at the moment looking very very bad we're not gonna sprint anything we're just gonna walk actually not heavy amazingly uh, that didn't last long though yeah we're still alive 
but I don't think it's going to last. Let's get to Pleasant Valley. And if we're lucky, and there'll be coffee in that other cave, but <clears throat> the coffee barely buys us any time. Like, it hardly does anything. But if we can survive, you know, then we'll do it. I don't think it's possible, though. I'm amazed I made it this far. But I don't think it's possible. I think it's cold for one, but I, d I think the, the food poisoning just eats too much of a chunk of our health for this to be really doable. Now we're about to become fatigued again. And I'm going to save all of my coffees except for maybe one. <clears throat> it's going to be like an emergency coffee. Let's drink another coffee here. I'll also warm up a bit. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll have to use the shortcut down into Pleasant Valley and hope I don't take any damage. Yeah, normally this would be really powerful run. I could do a lot of sprinting and stuff, but the food poisoning just drains your fatigue, it drains everything and messes the whole thing up. But it is kind of interesting, I gotta admit, to see if this can even be done at this point. Can it be done to complete this without sleeping? And I still think the answer is no, it can't be done. But I'm interested in trying. I don't think it can be done. I think that the food poisoning, because when you're food poisoned, you, you become fatigued really fast. Um, so if you ever, for example, sleep, and, and so you sleep like six hours, and then you wake up, and you still need to recover four hours for the food poisoning, and you do some crafting and stuff for like an hour or whatever, and then suddenly you realize, oh wow, I'm so tired. That's because you got fatigued from the food poisoning. So it just completely eats it. So the coffee is now just literally there to mitigate damage, and that's all it does. Um, and I don't think it can be done. If the food poisoning is cured in time, <coughs> It could maybe, maybe be done if I find more coffee along the way. I don't think it's going to be enough. You can see the coffee barely buys me any time at all. So it's just literally a question of time till this is over. But we'll push it as far as we can. That's all we can do. I'm gonna head to Desolation Point now by Coastal Highway, which will give us another stim. Desolation Point has a third stim, and then Ravine has a fourth stim, and then we won't get another stim until uh, Broken Railroad and then Fall on Muskeg, the last two. <coughs> But like I said, I don't, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we have, do I have one coffee left? There's two. I have one. I'm gonna wait to drink that a little bit. Um, I will see. Now I'm gonna take fatigue damage again, and we're not gonna last very long, I'm afraid. But we'll see. This cave that's not far from here can have coffee. Can have coffee. And if it does, that will maybe keep us alive until Coastal Highway. And we can stim to get to Desolation Point. But we're, we're dancing on such thin ice here. This is insane. This is really insane. I kind of given up on the whole loot scouting thing I was doing as well because who cares. Uh, except for health loss, if I'm looting something, can't find anything. Okay. This is now not a run to do with uh, getting oh, getting the best time. 
rather run to survive while speedrunning. The salvage run now. Might as well check this stuff. I don't think there's anything here, but we can check. Just in case there's like coffee. <laughs> I don't remember on, on Interloper and As Dead Sleep, I don't think I remember ever finding coffee in like random locations, uh, with some exceptions. So on lower difficulties, you're gonna find coffees here and there. On, uh, on Interloper uh, and As Dead Sleep, because As Dead Sleep is basically Interloper. I don't, uh, you tend to find coffees in certain locations. You find it in like Trapper's Cabin, Mountaineer's Hut, uh, the farm, Signal Hill, um, places like that. Uh, you know, maybe like three to five places in the world. Then you might also find it in a container in, at the summit. They will also have coffee. Then in total you'll find like, I'm not sure exactly, like five or maybe six cans of, like tins of coffee in total. And then you might find one or two cups of coffee. So let's let's just round it up and be generous. You'll find 35 cups of coffee in total on an interloper or as they sleep run. You know. uh, maybe something like that. But you can also find it randomly, particularly on lower difficulties, uh, in different containers. But as far as I know, the only place I have ever found coffee, uh, or at least tins of coffee, is um, uh, in kitchens when you open cupboards in kitchens they can have coffee inside okay we're still alive kind of we're gonna actually make a fire here we have so much lamp oil it's fine and what we're doing is we're gonna uh, cook some stuff. Put that there, and then this, that, and we can cook first. Before I do that, I'm going to do this, and then this, that, this, that. And you right click them like this, and that resets the timer and they don't burn. It's like a bug, basically. Alright, that's it. Then I'm going to let that cook while I check for coffee. <laughs> the answer isn't coffee, I don't think I'll revert the save. More coal will grab one of those. I, mean, I don't think you need all this coal because you have quite a bit. We will check these things though. And we're going to get more coal soon anyway. Okay. What I want is over here, through this like little, little hole in the wall. But we're also gonna get wet is the only thing. And we might take actually cold damage getting this coffee. So we have to be a bit careful here. And consider if this is even worth it. Uh, I can see It looks like a cup of coffee, actually, yeah. What we can try is to do something like this. Put that on there, and then we're going to take everything off. And then when we go through, we'll be cold, but we should warm up from the fire, right? No? Yes, here we are. There. See, we're warming up now. I'm gonna put wait there a second for the fire to warm me up. That. And I'm gonna go back here. Grab this. It's a goddamn freezing. And we're gonna go through here again. Now we're warming up. I'll put this on. And there we are. And now we shouldn't get colder. So that was like a way around it. I didn't check the backpack, but uh, I got one extra cup of coffee doing that, basically. 
you know, if we're lucky, we can actually make it to um, <laughs> to Girls Highway with food poisoning. It's gonna be close, though. It's gonna be really close. I might have to drink one coffee just to ensure I make this. I'm gonna leave the rest. If I can make myself a bit lighter also, I can also travel faster. <clears throat> I might need to make some tinder though. At least we're not cold. I can't believe we're still alive. I mean, this is pretty crazy. If only this food poisoning would go away. We have our tea circle. This set too. Yeah. All right. I'm going to craft tinder plugs. The two of them, maybe. I don't know. Ah, it'd be fine. I'll find like this, I guess. Let me see if there's something I can get rid of. I don't think there's anything I can get rid of. Um. Now we can harvest it. I don't know if we need to harvest that though. Grab that. And let's dump this and this and two of these. I don't think we'll need a hacks for anything, so let's get rid of that. It was still heavy, but it's okay. I don't think we need a cloth for anything. It would be bandages. I guess we should maybe keep that for bandages. And I guess that's it, yeah. So now we're better. We're still gonna be heavy though, grabbing this stuff. Let's put on the coal on here so I can grab some better torches. Warming up. It's a, that's a bad torch, like really bad torch. That's more like it. I'm gonna drink one coffee, but save the other one for now. Sun's coming up. Drink this. Grab all of these, and let's go. <clears throat> and let's see if we can make it. All right, so now it's daylight, which is nice. I'm gonna grab in case we need this. I don't think we do, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna check these things. I don't tend to have anything. Like this quick. So now the question is if we can actually make it to the Cinder Hills mine. Well, if we can make it there, there is a stim. That stim maybe will be enough to get us to Desolation Point. That's assuming that um, I can stay warm. And at the moment, it's the coldest part of the day this morning but it's only gonna get warmer so I think we'll be alright. The only thing I'm worried about is the bear. There could be a bear over here and if it is here that's an issue. I'm gonna save the last coffee for a little bit. I might have to use it soon though. I think we might be able to make it there but barely. Uh, if I go in the red I'm drinking the last coffee that's basically what I'm doing. Keep going. So much coffee. This is, would have been a great speed run because there's so much coffee. I could, would have been able to run and everything. I probably would have, would have been in Desolation Point by now. This would have been a fantastic speed run. But no, I had to get food poisoning to mess it all up. All right, let's drink a tea. To warm up. <clears throat> Let's get up here. <clears throat> and I think I probably do have to drink the last coffee. I don't think we can make it far enough. Doubt it. I'll drink it to the next cold. There's so little life. I'm very, very soon going to go on the red. 
the blizzard hits or something, I'm just dead. If only this food poisoning would go away by itself. I don't know exactly how long it takes for it to go away. I think it's 24 hours, actually. It's quite long before it goes away. After this, I don't, can't think of anywhere where I, I would find coffee. It would be in a random container in a kitchen in Coastal Highway. Might be coffee there. Um, uh, where else would there be? Um, I think I have found coffee in Hibernia Processing. I think. Um, bean won't have what? Well, on mask it could have coffee, but I don't think so. Broken Railroad can have coffee in the maintenance yard. I found that before. Yeah, but well, basically, I don't think there's many places left. We're losing health like very, very slowly. And also the coffee, it mitigates damage, but for such a short period of time that it doesn't really achieve anything, but it does mitigate. Without those, but it's 11 coffees now. Without those 11 coffees, I would have been dead by now. For sure. It basically stops us from dying. And drink it now. So then I think by avoiding the red until well, that happens. I think we can actually make it to the nails mines. And then we just go as far as we can in the red. And then we just have to stim. And that's it. Then we can find another stim in the lighthouse, so we might make it further. So it, if, if it all works out, and I don't know if it can, we may be able to get the graves in Desolation Point and Ravine. I have my, have my doubts that we can go much further than that. These are not cold, uh, warm anymore. But because of the jerry can, I can just make fires to warm up if I need to. Oi, oi, oi. At least I'm not heavy yet. Despite being tired, I'm walking faster. I was not gonna last over. Imagine if this if I didn't have food poisoning in this speed run. And um how it would have gone. Oh great. I have a flare, I think. Yeah. The worst case I can use that. Might have to make a fire actually, uh soonish. Really, that windy it does not look windy. That windy, rather. This is my last defense. <clears throat> and this is intense. Like, normally when I make videos, I say, yeah, it's fine. You know, even if I didn't have food poisoning right now and I had this amount of life, I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. Especially when I find coffee. It's, like, yeah, it's no biggie, you know. Uh, but now, because this happened, it's like on a knife's edge. I don't really know what's going to happen, if I'm completely honest. <clears throat> so I just have to see what happens. Uh, I'm like very... This is death by a thousand cuts. The coffees bought me time, and normally... If I just walked rather than sprinted, the coffee will probably take like a, an in-game hour or something to expire. But because I have the food poisoning, it, it drains so quickly. I think cumulatively the coffees uh, have lasted a f couple in-game hours or so. So, yeah, I, I don't know how much they have helped. They have maybe saved... Um, how much? Maybe... I think I would be dead by now. But it would be like five, five percent, five to ten percent is what they stopped. Because I'm losing roughly one percent per hour. 
uh, by being fatigued. And it's really annoying that uh, I got food poisoning. It really made it so different. But I must admit, uh, I am actually surprised that I'm still alive. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't be. It's just slowly, slowly dying. But I've been able to circumvent things like the cold to the degree that I am still um, alive. And I can survive a bit longer by using the next stim up here, which I think I should be able to reach. But uh, after that, oof. All the ways. I don't know. Yeah, now here comes the red. This is the worst. See, so now it's looking dim. Now it's a question of whether I can find the stim before I die is basically the issue now. And I, I think I can, but it depends a bit on where the stim is, because it can be three places, and all of those three places are closer to the coastal highway entrance than they are to this entrance. So I think, I think it can be done, but it depends a little bit as well. I have so many matches that instead of stopping to light a new torch, I'm just going to light one with a match. I think we can make it there without stopping to light a fire, which would be good. It would buy us some time and maybe 1% health. Oh wow, now it's getting really cold. Uh, I might not be able to do that actually. No, I don't think so. We need to very quickly make a fire here, I think. Yeah, it's getting cold. This is, let's not risk it and do this. We can find more coal in there, so that's no biggie. And then we'll just do this. And this. And this. This. And we'll douse this. This is very unfortunate, but I think it's the only way we don't die, because we are going to get cold otherwise. Five minutes, yeah, five minutes we can do. Five minutes in-game time, so... Not so long. Character's making all sorts of weird noises, just standing in the snow. Okay, we are warming up, fortunately. I'm going to drink uh, this right away. To warm up and then grab that grab that and grab that and let's go now we will be okay grab this also <coughs> and now we need to find the stim and then we need to we need to use the stim so assuming i don't get cold let's think about it in theory it should be possible to do this because if i uh, don't get cold. Let's say, and you lose one percent per hour. Let's say it's two percent per hour. Steam heals fifteen. Let's just say that's eight hours. Then in-game hours might be doable. And then the next one's another eight hours. It's sixteen hours. Uh, uh, it's maybe doable. <coughs> maybe. Soon I'm gonna start swaying as well, which is not fun. What are we gonna do, huh? What a run this turned out to be. I'm just like, ah, you know, that's right. Is it here? No, okay. Uh, it's actually this end. I was thinking about it backward. Okay. Then the stim is actually closer to this entrance, the other way around. So it wasn't there. I grabbed some coal just for warmth, because we're likely to be able to need it again. And this will make us heavy, but I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, we're not going to check in this stuff. It's not going to have anything and also that's not really a priority right now. We have like decent-ish gear, you know. And then I need to just get there, I think, ASAP. Uh, we need to use the weather as well. 
I'm just gonna call that 12, it's enough. We're gonna get more soon anyway. Okay, it wasn't there, so it's gonna be in the, the room or by the entrance to Coastal Highway. So it's gonna be here or by the entrance. I'm swaying a little bit, but not terribly. Here it is. Okay, we're still alive, assuming that we don't die from a wolf. Let's check this too. How are we still alive? I don't know. Running around with stupid food poisoning. In hindsight, we could have done even better by mitigating more cold. But of course, by the time I got food poisoning, a lot of my life was already gone. And I didn't really think I would lose more. Let's also check here quickly, because sometimes there's miscellaneous loot here. Um, this is where this thing would be if it wasn't there already. Uh, let's see, there's no jerry can or something, is there? No, let's just check this thing as we're here. Okay, I think we're gonna just, assuming the weather permits it, we're gonna go straight towards the isolation point. We're gonna wait to pop this thing until absolutely necessary. Well, until I start swaying so much that it's not possible anymore. Uh, we're not gonna go via the garage or anything because um, I don't know what we would find that would help. We might pop into the trailer down here. Oh, that's annoying. Then we have to get this out. Don't be a blizzard, please. I know these warm still. They are. Okay, so I'm going to drink this to warm up a bit. <coughs> okay, good. And then we're going to go down here. straight there we can very briefly pop in the trailer because the trailer can have um, <laughs> can have a um, berry can but the food poison because we ate the reishi tea it's mitigating the effects of health loss from the uh, food poisoning but the food poisoning drains our fatigue so fast that the coffees barely did anything. If it wasn't for the coffees, we'd be dead now. But if it wasn't for the food poisoning, uh, we would also be looking a lot better because I could just drink the coffees to run and get there further. And in, we basically would do things faster. And then therefore we wouldn't, uh, we would save time. So if I knew I was gonna get food poisoning, I could have played this slightly differently just to make sure that we do it more planned, I guess. But at the moment, that's not going to work. <coughs> All right, we have a dead corpse. I thought it was a jacket at first. Uh, let me quick as Tinder, we'll take that. Uh, nothing really here. I guess we can check this. Let's keep going then. <clears throat> and we are getting cold, so I'm gonna have to make a fire somewhere in the middle of this just to warm up. The logical place would be the fishing hut or behind one of these columns. Or I can sprint now to get indoors to a misanthrope. Wow, I'm actually barely cold going this way. That's amazing. I can also do this to mitigate swaying. Uh, which is probably the, a good idea. We're not swaying a lot, but we are swaying. Uh, we may actually be able to get indoors before we get cold. Yeah, I think so, because we are getting cold, but not so cold. Uh, I think so, yeah, it's draining quite slowly, actually. And if it does happen quickly, I'm going to pop this thing. We'll go via the... Uh, um, misanthrope here to warm up a bit. This is a challenge if I've ever done one here. Yeah. Slowly, slowly dying. Slowly dying. 
Oh, not dead. And it's now over till it's over. And if I hadn't had food poisoning there, I would have had um, half of my life left. And I would have been tired. And I probably would have gone down to maybe even 25%. But then the coffee would have lasted much, much longer. Allowing me to sprint or just walk and not take any health loss. But because the coffees last so short, their only function became preventing health loss while active. And they barely did anything. But it is what it is. But it's interesting that this changed from a speed run to a survival speed run. So instead of trying to do this as fast as possible, I'm now just invested in whether or not this can be done. And at the moment, I am still alive. So maybe it can be done, I don't know. How much am I swaying now? Quite a bit, yeah. This is much, much better. Uh, this is a good place to stim also. All right, let's see what we got here. We can also do loot scouting in here, because if there is uh, anything that I find that doesn't take too long to grab, I don't think there'll be anything in here actually, or now that I'm looting it, but what I might look for is the cabinets. Because they can have coffee. I think at this point if I do find coffee here, Soup and accelerant, all right. Um, soup can be warmed up. Uh, if I find coffee, I don't think I'll reload because it's too risky. Standard fair, okay. No coffee, but we're warming up. All right, no coffee. Let's check for clothing upstairs so we can be warmer. Maybe we'll find some thermal leggings or something. That would be good. It's nice to warm up here anyway, so I'm just going to do that. Book will take. Uh, no thermal leggings here, maybe in the tub. No, how much water do we have? Not that much actually. Oh, a little bit, let's take, let's take a liter. And we can quickly check these two because we're warming up while we're in here. And uh, that's good enough for me. If this food poisoning would cure itself. And we had coffee. I'm gonna keep going. It is cold, but I can make a fire if necessary. <clears throat> In a place that's convenient. I can also stim. Let's just make sure the bear isn't here. Minus 18, okay. I don't think the bear's gonna be around. Let's, uh, let's make a fire here. to ensure that we can actually warm up. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, just, just do this. With accelerant. And put, uh, put two of these on. I don't think we can really cook much. We can cook this. We don't need the thing for that, but I'm just using it anyway. And then do this that and then we can harvest this for two tinder plugs and we might as well grab this guy 
few minutes. Alright, I think it's time to keep moving. Probably eat the soup before anything. Grab, grab, grab and go. Then off we go. <clears throat> you can actually use redlining to your advantage. You can use it to deliberately stumble forward and then you move you move faster forward. <coughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that though. There's there's a wolf in front of us. But we might have to use our flare. Looks like we probably do have to use our flare now, mate. Eh? It would be nice if you didn't see us. Go away, Wolfie. Nothing for you to see here. tricks you can use to regenerate health when you're this low uh, just for future reference uh, that's mostly for Nogoa, it's an exploit the way it works is that if you manage to get well fed you know, you get 5% extra health uh, if you go down to basically 5% health so like this then you lose your well fed bonus you're not going to lose five health and die you're going to maintain the health you already have you're already going to have five and if you then get well fed back again it adds five percent so you can actually balance between one and i think twelve percent um in on as that sleep or no goa uh, internally by rotating between well fed and, and not well fed on a run like this, though, a speed run, that makes no difference because um, first of all, I'd have to get well fed. That's on day three, and we're going to be done before that. And I would have to um, um, lose it again and then gain it back. So it would effectively take six days to do that. So it doesn't achieve anything. Uh, maybe grab these. <coughs> See, I'm swaying a lot here. I don't know exactly when I want to use the stim. We'll see. See how long I can push it. Let's go. Here we have two wolves. But they shouldn't be an issue. As long as they don't ambush me. I am, though, I think, going to use this flare soon. Okay, they're further up ahead, so we'll wait a bit. There's one. You can check the basement maybe, but I don't think I want to. Alright, so we're gonna use this now. Oh, hello. I would prefer using the stim on like a flat surface, somewhere that's easy to navigate, so I can utilize it most for distance. I'm not gonna go into that thingy. I might use it to get to the lighthouse quickly. That would be one option, just to heal a bit there. That's something we could do, but I need the stim and the lighthouse, so we could maybe just to get there fast and heal 
we could use the stim once we get out of this uh, cave and uh, sprint towards desolation point. I'm not going to take the shortcut because it's too risky. If I if I make a mistake and I fall, I'll probably just die. So I'm going to run the way around and just try and get there as soon as possible while the flare is active, if it's still active, so that I can run uh, through the wolves. That's the idea, I think. And then the next sim we use whenever it's convenient. <clears throat> if I find a rope in a ravine, I will consider not taking the shortcut because it's safer. Uh, but I don't think we're going to do that. Campfire walking. It'll sway a lot without it like this. Let's see. <laughs> uh, it would be nice if I can get through this uh, mine without the flare dying. But we'll have to see. Uh, there's some as a flare here. No? I'm gonna check quickly if there is one in here. No. Oh, I can't start a fire indoors. Okay. Oh, we can also do this. <clears throat> Achieves the same thing. And then I think I use the stim when I get out and I'll sprint to the lighthouse where there'll be another stim waiting for me. That's probably going to be good enough. Oof, what a run. Oh, can this... How are we still alive, you know? This fatigue is just slowly eating away at us. A lot of coal, but I can grab it on the way back if I want it. I don't know if I want to go to Hibernia processing. I don't think so. Like, we'll find matches there. And you can find coffee, but I don't think we're going to find coffee there. I will check out the Riken, though. The Riken might have, like, a can of soup or something. But I will check out the Riken. I think this flare will just barely last until the lighthouse if I stim, I think. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go the long way around uh, just to make sure. So here we are. Yeah. So we'll use the stem here. So we can. And then we're gonna use it. Grab the uh, flare again. Run. Wind is not too great, but we healed a little bit. Let's go, run, 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 run. While the flare is active, so we can get past these wolves. Normally I take the shortcut, but I'm not doing that now. We're not cold, which is good. I basically want to get past these wolves before this flare expires. There's usually a wolf up here, sometimes two wolves. As long as they are afraid of this flare, we're good. Don't know if it will last that long though. Uh, I don't think it will, so we're gonna have to have this ready as a contingency. Okay, so there is a wolf here. I'm taking detours here, I'm going around. So I'm not risking that the wolf is around the corner. We needed maybe 20 seconds more on that flare. Alright, we made it this far. Bought us some time. We're still alive. <clears throat> and we're gonna get another stim here in the lighthouse. But this is st <laughs> still going. And we'll have two graves. Then we need to get the ravine one. And then it's going to be complicated from there. I don't know if I even remember how to do the shortcut from the ravine. But 
we could also stim back up, I suppose. If I can find a, a rope, I will grab it <coughs> and do that instead. All right, here we are inside the lighthouse. Light a torch. Check this. Grab some this stuff. The handy. rest of this we don't really need. Check this. Uh, I don't think it's worth checking the rest, to be honest. Because it, I'm warming up, which is great, but uh, there's the stim. But because I'm also losing health, oh, it's a mixed blessing. Check these if I can. Alright. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I want to do some food management now. I already have food poisoning. Wait, the food poisoning's cured. When did that happen? Ah, oh, that's why we're not losing as much health anymore. It got cured. I didn't even notice it. When did that happen? Really? Oh, wow. Okay, I don't remember that happening. It must have come up on the screen when I wasn't looking or something. But the food poisoning has been cured. So now it's just a matter of we only lose health from the fatigue. If we do find coffee, then um, then we can actually use it to sprint and stuff. But I don't think we'll be able to find any more coffee though. I will check the Riken, but that's about it. Ah, okay, so food poisoning has been cured. Hallelujah. That's fantastic. So we survived food poisoning <coughs> on acid and sleep without sleeping. That's fantastic. Um, I'm gonna have to check the replay when that happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, but then we survived food poisoning. And we've taken now a little bit over a day to do this. There's no way in hell we're going to make a world record now because we had to use all our coffees to mitigate damage. But now we are in the clear. Uh, but we're still going to take damage though. We're still going to lose damage from um, just, just being tired. As long as I can keep all the other meters up, then we can make it. But now because I already had food poisoning, I'm a bit apprehensive towards eating bad food. <laughs> so we'll have to see. But here's uh, rave number two. So let's see how that goes. Like that. Rave. Go. Now we're going to go in here and warm up a bit and also do a little bit of a sit trap. Oh, I'm starving. Yeah, we'll sort you out, Astrid. Let's check here, though. We can sometimes find food. I think you can find coffee here, uh, but not normally. In a way, I wish I had saved those coffees and used them now because it would have been fantastic. But... Um, if I hadn't used them, I probably would have been dead by now. I'm not going to do any loot scouting in here. I can't be bothered. Um, uh, we don't need that. Um, okay, well then there should be a soup or something. Yeah, pe peaches. And another peaches here. What's the condition on these? I'm not sure I want to eat this, it's too risky. This I think should be fine. I mean, this should be fine. Let's eat it. Don't you dare give me food poisoning again. <clears throat> I'll drink it. That doesn't give us food poisoning. And I'll also eat 88%, should be fine. Let's just mitigate some of this hunger we have here. I think I'm just going to drop this and this. I'm never going to eat it. It's too risky. This also is uh, risky. I'm not sure I want to eat that either. The rest we can take. 
Okay, so now we have a bit heavy, but not terribly heavy. And I'm considering... Did I try the shortcut in Ravine? Hmm. Guess we could. But we could also just go down there and stim back up. Might just be easier. Or we could take the stim and... We could take a shortcut and stim back up. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. That just makes no sense. Let's check this truck for the rope. Because then I might take it to Ravine. Alright, so we are still alive after that whole ordeal. Oof, what a pain that was. What a pain. Let's see if there's a rope in here. Oh, no rope. Okay, well then I guess it's shortcut time. Uh, it's quite warm in the day right now. Minus two. Yes. And it also goes to the double torch, minus three. So we're not really worried about cold right now. It's going to take a while for that to uh, kick in. But I don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> because I'm not in the red. In time though, I will go in the red. I never had food poisoning on the go or as I sleep or something like that before. And it was from sardines and they were really high condition. Because I had a Raishi tea when I um, when I got it, I stopped the health drain effect of it. But the issue was that um, The issue was that my fatigue drained so fast that I started losing health very early from fatigue. And then in addition, um, I couldn't regain it through coffees. And I think that if I had saved the coffees until the food poisoning was cured, which I didn't even know how long that would take exactly, I think it's random. I think it's random between 10 and 24 hours or something, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I might have to look that up. But um, if I hadn't used the coffees, I would have lost more health and I and I would have died. Yeah, because when I found the stim, I only had maybe 3% life left, maybe. And those coffees definitely saved more than 3%. For sure. I just ate away at my health, the damn food poisoning. And also, like, I don't know exactly how it works, but I know you do take damage from food poisoning even if you stop it. Uh, so an example is, if anyone, uh, if you're watching this, if you have watched my Nogoa series, uh, I did get food poisoning there once. Oh, actually, let me correct myself because <laughs> just a few minutes ago I said, oh, I never had food poisoning on acid sleep on Nagoa, but that's wrong. I, I did have it on, on Nagoa. Uh, I just forgot. <clears throat> but anyway, in my Nagoa series, which is the same as acid sleep, you have permanent health loss. There was a case where I ate something and got food poisoning. And then when I got it, I immediately drank an antibiotic, the Raishi tea, and then I went to sleep. And then what happened was I woke up the next day and the food poisoning was cured. But I still lost about 5% health. Just by getting the food poisoning and then immediately curing it and sleeping. I still lost 5% health. And in practice you shouldn't actually lose anything. I don't know exactly how that works because I don't usually get food poisoning or when I do get it I don't really care too much about it. It's just like a nuisance rather than anything else. I never really looked into exactly how food, uh, food poisoning works. But it does seem that it causes some damage regardless. And it really put a damp on this run. If, the, if I didn't have food poisoning this run I would have had 11 cups of coffee in addition to the stims. And I could have sprinted a lot more and all sorts of things. 
I may even have been... I don't think I would have been done with the challenge by now, but I definitely would have been much further along than I am now, for sure. What am I doing with coal and things? Lots of coal. Oh, we don't need these to get rid of those. Heavy. <coughs> but I might grab a couple pieces of coal in here. Just for extra warmth along the way. Because it's still warm in the day now, even with the wind, but eventually this is going to start getting cold. Uh, I don't think we need this much coal, I don't think. So let's just keep going here. And see how far we can push this run, the doomed run, like... Ugh. Like, I didn't think this would be salvageable. I need to check the uh, replay when I cured food poisoning now. Oof. This is uncomfortably close. But, you remember what I always say, you know, if you're still alive, you're not doing it wrong. <laughs> and what matters in a challenge is that you're alive at the end of the challenge. Not so much what happens in between. <clears throat> this is still a speed run. But we're not going to be able to get a very good time. Uh, at the moment we're up to probably one day and... How would that be? Probably one day and three hours or something. Something like that. The world record is one day and eight hours. The fastest record that exists on YouTube that you can watch is one day 11 hours. And the fastest I have is one day and I think 15 hours or something like that. Uh, but I don't really care that I don't beat anything at this point because this was a very different kind of run. And normally I would have abandoned, but it just got too interesting to see if it could be salvaged. salvaged. I do wish that I had more flares though, because this torch can blow out. And if it does, uh, I have limited defense against the wolves and I would prefer to have a flare handy I only have the marine flare that's not so great and I am a bit worried about um, the torch blowing out to be honest <coughs> I'm just going to check quickly here in this cave for some extra supplies. Nothing that this would. It's still warm. It's going to continue being warm for a little bit, but soon it's going to start getting cold again. Keep hearing all these weird noises. As if the character's like running on the spot or something. Let's light a new torch here. Then this one is in cover in case the wolves show up. I don't think I'm going to do any kind of waiting in this basement here because of these wolves. I could check it very quickly though. <clears throat> Just to see. There's like literally nothing here, but we can check this though. Maybe there's some good clothing. I'll take uh, it. Dress shirt, which is probably not good. Uh, marginally better. And you wear in style. Go, go. Right. Warm it up a little bit too. Let's get out of here. Please do not blow out. Uh, it's, it needs to be slightly stronger wind for this to blow out. There is a theory that I think is at least somewhat correct that whether a wind blows out depends on the strength of the wind, the colder the winds so are right now. It's minus 12. I think that will dictate uh, whether it uh, blows out or not. One second. I am back. Let's keep going. I just had to have a quick break there, just sorting something out. And while I was pausing the game, uh, which I obviously cut from the video, 
uh, I was looking to see if I could figure out when I cured the food poisoning and I couldn't figure it out, but I'm sure I'll find out later. In any case, uh, we're now heading towards Ravine, but I think I need to probably make a fire along the way. <clears throat> and warm up a bit. I'm not too cold. It's still going to be warm for a while. But I'm probably going to get cold before I get anywhere. I am going to check Jackrabbit Island. It's a minor detour. But you can find coffee in there. And if I find coffee now, it's actually going to mitigate further health loss. Plus, I'm going to actually be able to sprint. So that's fantastic. So it's definitely worth giving it a look. It's the only area I can think of that would maybe have... Um, coffee. But let's do that. Uh, hold on, yeah. Oh, how cold is this? Now it's minus 8, but in the wind... Actually, I think the wind died. No, it's still there. A minus 8 is very low, so we can we can make it there. Oh, I'm still amazed at this run. So what started out as basically a new type of speedrun became something completely different. At some point I was like, why am I even narrating this and this is going to be deleted anyway? But now it's become something fun, because I didn't think I was going to live this long. It's interesting because when I started this speedrun, I thought, you know, I have one. I have one of the fastest speedruns of As Dead Sleep in the world already. So um, I I don't know exactly, but I think uh, my time for As Dead Sleep I think is the fourth or fifth ta fastest time in the world that I'm aware of, at least. <clears throat> So it's not a bad time. But then I thought, like, there must be ways to improve it. Then I thought of this loot scouting method, you know, where you go into an area and you check what's in it and then you exit and do it again, which is a total exploit, you know. And in a, if it was a survival run, you know, I would never do something like that. But this is an any percent speed run. It, it's the equivalent of going out of bounds. You know, you can do those sort of things. I'm going to make a fire in a minute. <clears throat> And I thought, let's give that a try. And it was actually going fairly well. And then the food poisoning was just like, ugh, what's the point now? No. It's just, just going to end now. But then it disappeared. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was unexpected. I'm going to make a fire. And there are two tinder plugs left. And uh, let's put on two coal. And I have two teas I can make. I don't think I can cook anything, can I? Oh yeah, I can cook those things. Let's do it. Um. <coughs> oh, well, whatever. Put these on here. And then this here. They also weigh a lot, so peaches uh, are among the worst food items in the game, in a way. Because you only get 450 calories, and that's not so bad, that's quite a bit of calories. Um, but it weighs f uh, half a kilo. It does give you some hydration too. It, if you compare it to, say, a piece of meat, like a deer, uh, a kilo of deer meat, that's one kilo and a thousand calories so this is less than that but also gives some hydration which is fine but you compare it to say for example this one that weighs 0 0.1 and it gives you 600 calories so it doesn't give you hydration but the sheer weight cost of the peaches is just so high <coughs> i'm gonna grab uh some torches good torches only i think that's all right let's stand over here so that uh don't flood it I only want good torches, or decent torches, rather. Alright. That's alright as well. That's acceptable. And that's also good. And then we'll take this one no matter what. Hot, hot. Done and done. 
And then as I leave and I start getting colder, I can eat one. <coughs> we eat one of the peaches. Um, I most likely will have to take the shortcut to the ravine because since I didn't see the rope, the only other way to do it to get down to the ravine is I have to gamble that there is a rope in the ravine in one of two places, which would be the bunny shortcut before the rope or the train cart that's after the rope coming from this direction. Well, there might be a rope there, but if I gamble on that, and there isn't a rope, then I would have to go into Mystery Lake and grab a rope from Lake Oluk. Or I have to go somewhere here and grab a rope from, from there. Like uh, the one uh, near the garage, for example. And that's not so great. <laughs> so we're going to do the shortcut. I hope they haven't patched it because... That would be bad. Um, I have done it a few times, so it should be right. And it got really, really foggy suddenly. Not too great. Let's eat the canned peaches. All right. Warmed up a bit. And we're not as cold. It's still going to be warm for another hour in game or so I would say let's make our way towards uh, Jackrabbit Island on my right is the little bunny island and about eh, about this direction should be a fishing hut if the ice starts cracking then <laughs> I've gone too far to the left basically Let's see, there's the eyes. A bit more further, there it is, there's a the fishing hut. You can check inside, but there won't be anything, I don't think. Uh, on low difficulty, so you can find the, the rifle here. Uh, that's pretty good. But let's see, door. Yeah, nothing, nothing really here. We could check though, sometimes you can find random like wool toques and stuff in here. And at this point, I don't really care about the uh, the loot uh, scouting strategy. That's that's out the window. I'm only going to do that for going forward in one or two unique circumstances. Uh, that's that's out. That was in order to speed speed up this and try and beat the uh, the record. And that's no longer an issue. So there's no point trying to do that. I'm just going to loot more or less normally. But yeah, even though this speedrun turned out to be something quite different than I initially planned, I hope you're enjoying the run. I hope you still find it useful in terms of how you should speedrun. Mine is the food poisoning. And you can definitely do the route I'm taking and not get food poisoning and do a really good time. Or you can do what most people do. Most people who speedrun as dead sleep do, do not use the route that I use. What they do is when they come out of full on musket, the first thing they do is to go to Broken Railroad and get the grave there. Then they go to Hush River Valley. And then the various what people do, but usually from there, they go via Milton, a mystery lake, and then up to Tim Wolf Mountain. Uh, or, or maybe they go into Milton, then down to the ravine, and then uh, Tim Wolf Mountain or Desolation Point. It's very rare that people actually take this route that I'm doing. I just created the route to see if I could get around some of the graves faster, but mm, this may or may not be the best route, to be honest. But it's different, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot to be with this flare in the other house. I think that flare's always there. Let's see if we have coffee. This is the only place I can think of where I could maybe find coffee, like randomly around. I uh, could maybe, maybe find it in the fishing camp too on a shelf, but I don't think so. And anyway, we'll have a look here. Uh, this, I don't think I'm going... 93%, uh-huh. <laughs> That's what you said last time. Um, see. 
we'll check uh, just in case. I'm not going to bother with loot scouting at the moment. So it is what it is. Soup. Nice. That works. And there's coffee in the oven, imagine. Oh. Also, looting longer like this, the benefit is you warm up more. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess we can check this well. Alright. Um, water. We have quite a bit of water. I think we'll be okay. What I might do is I have a little drink up until like here. And then I will take a liter of this. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're going to get out of here. No coffee, I'm afraid. That's a shame. Oh well. Let's grab these rose sips. This is a great time to travel. Because now it's only minus seven. We're not going to loot those corpses. I'm going to check the fishing camp down here just quickly. On the way out. And then we'll go from there. Go this way. Oh yeah, food poisoning. No problem. We'll just deal with it. <laughs> I was uh, really close though. With the... Um, with the Cinder Hills Cave. That stim was cutting it close. I think I was down to... Um, 4% or something. 5%. And then I found the stim. Uh, without the coffees, I would be dead. Am I messing up this? I don't think so. It'd be around here. <clears throat> Might be more to the right or left, but we'll figure it out. Uh, am I lost? can see some trees in the distance, kind of. Right, there's that. Right. Oh, wow. I really went the wrong direction completely. It's this way. You can see in the, uh, in the horizon there. I was going way too far to the right. No wonder I got confused. Uh, we're not going to check all of these, but I think two of them have these bookshelves. And I think I found coffee there once, <coughs> or, or herbal tea, maybe in herbal tea. It's worth checking. I could have checked Hibernia processing too, but uh, I don't think it's that big a deal, to be honest. Right, now I have something ominous this way comes. <laughs> or was that whole thing a mirage? And I'm actually going to my death now. <laughs> Interesting. I think to... Oh, that's flying crows? Hmm. Did I really miss it by that much? I guess so. Well, that's fog for you. I would have eventually have found the road though, and I could have followed the road, but I didn't realize I was that far off. There should be the ramp up here. <coughs> there we are. I have quite a few matches, but might as well keep chain lighting. Alright, let's check. Uh it's at least at least one of them, I think maybe two of them have these shelves and they sometimes there is coffee there. So let's just have a quick look. Uh, I think it might be this one and the third one. Uh, it wasn't this one, and I don't want the sardines, so I guess that's it for this one. And then, let's see... 
in here. This is what I was thinking of. Yeah, these shelves can sometimes have coffee on them. And open this, I guess. Uh, nothing really here. And this last one, let's check that out too. No coffee, unfortunately. Oh well. Anything else? No. Alright, well then onwards we go. I'm just gonna save the game quickly. Alright, let's uh, make our way to the ravine. I think I can find it in the dark. To be up this way. It's getting colder now. Now we're transitioning into the night. And it's going from being the warmest part of the day towards the coldest part of the day. So it's starting now. So looks like we're still not too cold, but it won't be too long until it starts getting quite cold. The fog isn't helping either. <clears throat> Can't really see much. And as you can see, my life is still slowly ebbing away because I lost so much health during the food poisoning issue. <laughs> well, we'll do our best. I might have to make a fire at some point. Uh, is it up here? I think it is roughly. He's got to be a bit careful here. Huh? It's quite hard to actually to navigate in the deep fog. Unless you're going with specific landmarks. When you open it's hard. I think I know where to go. <coughs> I think we should be approaching the upper aspect of the river soon. I think it's, is it this way? It might be, I think it's actually further up and then to, right, not sure if it is this way, but that's okay. Ow. But well, we can go this way though, because um, we will get to the river eventually, even if it's not the right way. Yeah, it's the, uh, the campsite. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if we need these, but I'm going to grab a couple. <clears throat> this is what I was looking for, more, more or less. Oh, here should be the river. And let's see if we can... We might find a piece of coal or two as well. How many bandages do I have? None. I have to make some. We don't really care though about sprained wrists, but I have both wrists sprained. Oh, the fog cleared. Which means that I can't even throw a rock. Yeah, I need to make a fire soon. There's one piece of coal. This jerry can has really paid for itself. <laughs> Uh, minus nine, yeah. Make a fire up here. Yeah. There are lots of lamp oil left. Perfect. Two of these. And do I have something I can cook? I can warm those up and I can cook those too. Okay. Put this down. As well as this. Put that there, and that there, and we'll put these to warm. How many, how much tin do I have? None. <coughs> Go 
grab that then. And these. Yeah. Now we have Tinder. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I clicked the wrong button and I wouldn't stop the, uh, the walking. That was close. Alright, so that's cooking. And while it's doing that, I'm going to... I'm glad I didn't get rid of this cloth because we need bandages. <coughs> I'm going to wait to bandage though because I'm likely to get a sprain. Um, later. This is probably good. And how many torches do I even have? Not a lot. So let's get some more. <coughs> That's another. Might need this. That's alright. That's okay too. That's a good one. Bad. Bad. Okay. And then this one will be the last one. Grab, 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 grab. And let's head up. I'm not sure we can go up here actually. Oh, we can. Nice. And there's coal. Doing a bit better with the warmth now. I'm going to grab this one too. And now I'm going to head into the ravine. And I'm going to try the shortcut. I don't have a rope. Um, so I think I'm going to give it a go. Alternatively, I could go to the bunny cave and just check. But I would still have to use the stim to get down the ravine and then I want to get up so it's a bit of a bother. But it's doable of course. I'm going to try the shortcut. There is a shortcut that allows you to jump down into the ravine. The ravine is special in that it has a lot of death traps around it. So if you try to... If you try to billy goat down into the ravine you'll die. Uh, the game will just instantly kill you. There's a few places where it does that. It does it in Milton as well. If you try to go down the plane crash. Uh, <clears throat> so it won't let you do it. Let's have uh, some food. Let's eat the peaches. Uh, so the ravine is actually protected in that sense. That you can't uh, go down there. However, there is one way you can get down. There is a shortcut allows you to bypass it and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do that one. It is a little tricky. I have died once doing it. I went the wrong way and it messed up a dark walker run. So we'll give it a go and I'll see if I can manage. If I do die I'm sorry it's been fun. Bad way to go but <clears throat> we made it this far. <clears throat> oh, sorry about the coughing. I got a tickle suddenly. Here we have the bridge. Never use auto walk here because then you can fall off. Go forward here like this, and there we go. Oh, there we are! Nice past the uh, bridge. <laughs> Our life is still slowly being shifted away. We're not far now from going back into the red. Well, we should be okay. I'm going to get to fall on Muskeg if I do get there. I'm considering using a stim. I hope I can remember the other shortcut afterwards as well. Okay, I'm going to eat the other food before it gets cold. And calories, hydration, and everything. Um, I didn't place it down. And now uh, <laughs> we're fairly warm, actually. This is pretty good. All right. We're coming up to the shortcut now. Now, last time I did this was two patches ago. So they may have removed it. It would be a bit annoying if they did remove it. I didn't say it to anyone. Just so they would ruin runs like this, but 
It's possible, I guess. They could have done it. So let's give it a try. And either they have patched it or I messed up or it's still there. So let's see. It's just through this tunnel here. This rail tunnel. And we're safe from wolves here, by the way. No predators in the ravine. And here's the exit. I probably light a torch, though. A nice clear sky at night, which is great. And we're not too cold either. All right. There'd be some rose sips here. Uh, which I guess we'll take. I don't know if we'll need them though, but we'll take them. Okay, so here's the shortcut. We need to go here and down. And I don't remember exactly how you do it. I remember roughly. And it's best to go too high than too low. If you go too low, the game just kills you. <coughs> so I'm just going to go up as high as I can. Uh, because it's about getting up high. Um, I think it's not this high. I think it is down here. Yes, and then it's over this, but not below it. If you go below this, you will die. And then we gotta hug this wall as far as we can. Don't go down till we get to a slope that we can actually walk down. It should be this slope. And now we should be okay, I believe. So it's gonna go down here. Noises, loud noises. There we go. That's how you get down to the ravine. And then you gotta get through here. I think here's a good path. I'm actually gonna end the bleak inlet from the wrong side. So like this. And I will ask us to enter Bleak Inlet. There we are. <clears throat> of course, we actually need the ravine. <laughs> We're going to go back. And then here we are. There's the grave for the ravine. Let's activate that. There we go. But I'm going to go over here. Because there is a stim here. And also the... Um, Distress pistol. We're gonna grab that as well. Is this still hot? No. And then there is a shortcut. Um, <clears throat> there's a shortcut down the full on muskeg that I discovered a while back that uh, can take me all the way there. I've only done it twice though, it's a little bit tricky. Hoping I can do it without much too much effort Because we can't get up any other way you see because we didn't use the rope to get down So it's a little bit tricky Team rules shouldn't be an issue. They shouldn't go up to where I am There's the train cart And we have a chocolate we might as well check this Here's the stim and over here is the distress pistol, which we'll also take. Because it's doubly protected against bad animals. Yeah. Alright, then we're going back to Bleak Inlet. <coughs> and then there's a shortcut there to get down to Fuller Muskeg, so we're basically going in a massive circle. And hopefully there isn't fall damage involved, because then I will die. Might have to make a fire at some point to warm up a bit. We made it down here. This is the second last big obstacle. The next shortcut is the next big obstacle. We can get through that. 
And we are good. So this wind is quite annoying. Let's head into Bleak Inlet and let's see if I can manage this shortcut. Alright, so there we are, Bleak Inlet. And there's nothing for us. I mean, there is another route back to Fulanaskeg. We could uh, go to the tower, grab the rope, and try to climb down. That would be the other way to do it. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to do that. Unless I have to. Okay, the wind has died down a bit, but it's still some wind. It's just not as noisy. So we're going to go over there. I can't feel my hands. Uh, over this way is a waterfall. You can't get through there. Over this way you can get through if you're a bit crafty. I'm going to place a campfire here though. I'm getting cold. Uh, go. <clears throat> place a couple of coal on here. And I have... Not much, but I can heat this up. How much water do I have? Enough. While that's heating up, I can craft a mushroom. And then I can cook that mushroom. And while that's cooking, I can make another bandage. Now we're warming up. And it's got worse now in terms of the wind. And I'm I'm in the red as well. Fantastic. We'll see if we can do this. If I have to use a stim, I will. I have two of them now. But this is very bad weather for this uh, shortcut. Let's see if I remember how to do it. It's been a little while. Might even have to make a fire like in the open. This is not great. Let's see if I can figure this out. This is when I would have loved to have a coffee because it would make it a little bit easier. And let's see. So I think it was like this. And then you walk through this thing, I think it was. Uh, like that. And then up here. I think it was something like that. Like this, and then, can I go up there, or was it like this? There you go, yeah, that, and you go through that thing. And then was it like this? Yeah, I think that was how you did, we did it. There we go, and then we go up. Up, 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 there we go. That was that part, and then I'm gonna drink a tea to warm up. And then we gotta keep going. And hug the wall. Go up here. And up again. There we go. I think that's the worst part. If I remember correctly. Or was it further? I don't remember exactly. Ah, oh, we actually want to go down there. Yeah, that's right. Like so. <clears throat> Why would it be easy, eh? Why make things easy? Gonna crouch all the way down here. All the way. I'm not taking any chances, you see. And then we should be able to walk over this waterfall. Uh, but I think the way down was actually more this way, if I remember correctly now. Yes, I think it was like this. Yes. Gotta be careful here. And 
I have this in hand in case I fall. I think it was, it was a bit further up. Might have been through here. And oh, that looks worse. I think it was over here. I stimmed just to make sure I didn't die. I didn't want to risk it because there was a little fall there. I didn't take any damage. But I didn't want to risk it. Because uh, there was a possibility there that I would die. And I did not want to take that chance. Then we go over this. And now we can sprint kind of. And now we need to hug this wall. Uh, there we go. And now we can go down a bit. There wasn't a great stim there because we didn't we don't really utilize it for running purposes but i just did not want to die there because there was a likelihood there that i would take fall damage and i really did not want that this is a very very dangerous um route to take you almost always get sprains here And now we're almost there. Okay. Brain. Stim is done. I have one more stim though. We're not on a red anymore. It's a very brutal shortcut, this one. <clears throat> I'm glad I did pop the stim though, even if it wasn't necessary. Because if I had fallen there, I didn't take any fall damage at the end of the day. But it was very close there. There was a little ledge and it was dark. I couldn't quite make out what was happening. And I thought, if I die here from this tiny little fall, it's going to be so annoying. And here we are, back where we started. Back in the Fallen Musket Cave. But we have three graves down and we're still alive. There we go. And we have all four sprains, which isn't great. I'm not too worried about my feet being sprained. But I do want one of my wrists to be cured. So I'm going to do that. Because otherwise I can't use the stone to scare off wolves. Or um, this rest pistol. So we're going to head out now. <coughs> I don't remember doing that much that noise in here. A, a noisy cave suddenly. We're gonna make a fire and we're gonna take, even though this is a speedrun, we're gonna take a moment to make a few more teas because now we're going to cross the big, um, the big full on muskeg, which is not gonna be great. So we need to make sure we have enough teas. So I'm going to spend maybe maybe an hour in game just to make sure we have teas. And then I'm guessing we'll finish this challenge like around the two day mark or so. Not sure exactly. Because we need to get to Broken Railroad and then up to Hush River Valley as well. And once we're in Hush River Valley it's easy but we need to climb two ropes to get up there so we need uh, we need stims. It can be done with one stim. But I really want two. And we're going to find one more. And maybe one more in Broken Railroad. Well, I mean, we can find two or even three in Broken Railroad if we want to. But then you have to spend the time doing it. Which I don't really fancy doing. Alright, so here we're going to make a fire. This time I think we won't use the accelerant. Because um, I think we can manage without it. Thing is, we're indoors. Let's see if that works. There we go. And we'll put some coal on here. Get rid of this. And then we have things to cook. Is really just these two. We're going to put here to warm up. Water, we have enough. But I'll make a little bit while I craft. Um, 
like that, and then I'm gonna make one of these. I'm gonna take this and that, and then cook that, boil this, and then craft another one. Using a bit of an exploit there. Hey, cooking level two, how about that? And then let's do that. And then cook one more, and I can also craft one more. <coughs> and I think that will be enough. I forgot to put this one back here. Two minutes. Bake. I'm gonna grab some more torches, that's alright. And if I have to, I will use this last stim to get to Broken Railroad, but I don't think we're gonna need to. I think we can get there. I think it should be fine. Hoping the weather is okay out there. Grab, grab, grab. That's four T's. I spent, what, 45 minutes doing that in-game? That's alright. Gonna be colder out there now. And I'm gonna actually save it quick. Because from here... Uh, we're not gonna have a loading screen for a long time. <clears throat> and, uh... No, I'm recording this off stream, so if suddenly something happens in the middle of the of the run and I have to cancel, then I don't have to do the whole thing again. Oof, this is very, very cold. So this is probably the worst possible time to cross uh, Fall on Muskeg, seeing as it's... Uh, it's in the middle of the night, it's snowy and foggy, so we can't see much, and it's really, really cold. So we'll just do what we can. There's wolves, lots of wolves. But we'll do what we can. Drink our first tea now, I think. We'll go. That treatment did not do anything. No, but it gave us warming up. Yes, hello, wolfies. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Would be nice that the distress pistol is actually loaded, of course. This is a horrible place to cross, but we'll do our best. I think we have enough tinder now. I should have enough teas, I think. I'm hundred percent sure. There's been a lot of mushrooms that I've walked past where I've been thinking, ah, we don't really need those mushrooms. But I really could have used them now. Um, I can make two more teas in addition to the ones I have though. Now let's see, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Because the ice can break here. <clears throat> but it is possible to get on top of this thing. And walk across it. There we are. There we are. Now the ice won't break. There we go. Okay, now it's not as cold if you're in cover. Good. Grab a few more sticks. Drink another tea. Oh, we, may, we might be able to drink one more tea and then it's gonna get cold, I think. And we have to make a warm them up again. I can't sprint, so I can't take any shortcuts across the ice uh, because it won't work. I can't sprint across it. I have to take the safe routes. And 
I don't think there's a lot of mushrooms and things on the way there. There might be a couple in Broken Railroad. I mean, this isn't going to be a uh, world record anyway, so... I'm just going to do this properly. We're just going to get this... Uh, get Astrid home safe. That's what we're doing. Ow. Getting Astrid that home. A bit. Keep Astrid safe. I think we can actually cross this ice that's here without worrying about it. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Yeah, this is a very short journey. We'll pop into the poacher's um, camp to uh, check for... Oops, why is... Check for uh, some loot. There's a flare in there, which I want, because I only have my marine flare. And if there's a wind, I would like to have the option. Let's see, it's still hot? No. <clears throat> we could maybe make a <clears throat> small fire in here to warm them up then, I guess. Usually a few pieces of coal here as well, so we might as well do it. This time we, might, we can use the accelerant. And put two of these on. And do this. It's cook it's that. I think there isn't anything else to cook, is that? No. Uh, so we'll put these here. Here. Grab that. This might be better, but I doubt it. No. Nope. Uh, we can take this for wood. Cloth. And that. Wow, improvised hatchet, really? Oh, lucky day. Hmm. Okay. We don't need it though. I forgot that Astrid Sleep has a few extra items they can uh, they can do that for. I'm going to make one of these, the last one of these, while we wait for it to heat up. <coughs> Cook it later. Grab a good torch. Grab, 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 and grab. Let's go. I'm gonna leave the rest. And off we go. In cover, it's not so bad. But further up, it's uh, in the open, it's bad. And most of this track is in the open. So this is a very dangerous one. It wouldn't be too bad with regards to like predators and things. Maybe a wolf or two. But I think we'll be all right. At least until we get to the maintenance yard. I do wish I had more teas though, I neglected to pick up a lot of mushrooms. I just like, ah, no, we don't need them, we got we got this. But now that it's getting colder, I would have liked to have had more of them. That's right, we have three plus one. We should get us there, and then if it doesn't, we can just make campfires. Along the route. Now we're gonna wait to drink tea. Until a little bit from now. There's no cover here, it's too in the open, so it's gonna follow the train tracks. And we need one stim to get up to um to Milton from the basin. That's but it is good. nice to have two just in case. <clears throat> oh wow now it's getting Now it's getting very uh windy. This is gonna blow out now. I didn't actually see a flare in there now that I think about it. I don't think there was a flare. Is this a blizzard? It is actually not a blizzard, but it's effectively a blizzard. It's a bit, but I'll make it. I need to drink another tea again very soon. This is the worst crossing in the game. You're completely in the open. You need to cover all this ground. It's a lot to, to do. Ow. Drink another tea already. Might as well cure the pain. Uh, if I'm in a pinch, I could use the stim, but then it's a bit risky to rely on one last stim. But I might actually have to do it. It is very, very cold. Okay, I'll tell you what. After I drink the next tea, which will be in a second, I'm going to use the stim. Because uh, it's too cold and too in the open. 
Yeah, we're gonna do it. Drink this. And then... We gotta go. <sighs> Running in the dark a little bit here. But we gotta... We just gotta get there faster. It's, it's taking too long. We're not gonna get there all the way. But we can get fairly far with this. Maybe to the landslide, maybe, if we're lucky. We get some more health also, allowing us to uh, have a bit more marginal error. <coughs> and more importantly, when we get here, we can also, we're in cover. So when we get to Broken Railroad, there is a bit more shelter, so it's easy to make a fire that we can use to warm up. That's the issue. This isn't technically a, a blizzard, it's a storm. The animals can be out there because we have vision still. Alright, we got really, really far with this dim. Really far. It was definitely worth it. If not, I would still be stuck there in the open. Oh. And we're going to have to make a fire soon. Alright. So now I'm out of teas. I can make one more. I don't have any more. I'm gonna do a small detour via this little canyon thing here because I think there are rose hips in here. Uh, so I'm going to check for that and then I'll make a fire when I can. I wish I had a bit more coal but even if I use all my coal to get to the maintenance yard, it's okay, because there's a little bit of coal there. I think there's four pieces or something. That will be all right. We still have a bit of accelerant left, so we can make a fire easy peasy. And we have to make one soon as well. This is the top. Yeah, there is uh, there's some rose sips here. We'll make a fire right next to them. Uh, if we're going to use accelerant, which we are, we don't really need the torch. We'll place it here. There's a campfire there already, but... Uh, this is actually the last one we can make. How cold are we? We're actually not that cold, so... I'm going to try once without the accelerant to save it. To see if I can start a fire. If I go down to my last... Tinder, though, on, I will, I will Come use on. it. Whew. Sure, getting cold. All right, we managed. Put these two on, and then we're going to. Uh, how are we doing with water? Actually, that's uh, all right. But we can, we can make one. And then we can cook our tea, and we can also grab these. And there's a campfire. I wonder if there's anything here. Looks like ketchup chips and wood. All right. Let's get back here. <laughs> that's 40 degrees and it's barely warming me up. Let's put this on. Uh, and then we're going to make this. Which I'm also going to create. This here. I'm going to warm all the way up before we leave. I don't have any more I can craft other than bandages, which I might as well do. Let's make a bandage. Did the wind change? Or is it better. It's both. The wind died down a bit, but it's still very windy. Right, but we are good, though. Can I make grab a torch from this? Oops. I think, actually, we can. Yeah, it's not too windy. Alright, I would like to wait as long as I can, warm up as the maximum, and then I'll leave. We're warming up nice now, very nice. 
76 degrees. I don't really care about the sprains at the moment. Alright, now I can go. Let's grab these and let's go. <clears throat> I'm already starting to get cold, but that's alright. Storm is over. We're in a much better position now than we were five minutes ago. We have enough health. We should be able to make it all the way. Alright, so there's the landslide. This is a shortcut you can take. We got the wind against us, of course. Um, a lot of veteran players never take the normal route. They just go this route. First day, it's soon. So up we go. Landslide. It's even easier the way back. Then it's super easy. Uh, way up here. It's not too hard either. It's this way. Go along the slope here. Torch blew out. Then you go up here. And the wind picked up again. Wow. It's like, oh, the storm's over. No, it's not. So another tea needs to be drunk. We're gonna get as far as we can before we make another fire. Yeah, I have... If the wolf annoys me up here, I can... Uh, I can use this. Did it die down again? Or is it still too windy? Die down again. That's... Uh, wow, that's... Uh, uh, varied weather right there. Ow. Like it uh, was stormy, then it got still, and then it got really heavy wind for like, that was less than a minute. And then it got still again. Alright, let's keep going. This is an intense run. I went from being a attempt at a fast run to just a crazy survival run and now I'm invested in this and I want to do it I don't really care how long it takes uh, if we're lucky we'll make it before we reach two days but I don't know if we will oh Wolfie's here I'm gonna grab these though for more teas I also have this dress pistol if it gets too close There we are. We might as well check this, but I don't think there's really anything I can use in here. I'm going to do one more loot scouting in the maintenance yard, because the maintenance yard has a crate. It takes an hour to break it down, but that crate can have... Um, a stim in it. So I'm gonna go and check if it has a stim. And if it doesn't, I'll just exit again. I'll waste the hour. <clears throat> I think we need to drink the last tea as well, unless I make a fire. We can make more teas if necessary. If it doesn't have a stim, I have to either gamble that the last stim in Fallen Musky is enough, or I have to go to Hunter's Lodge and grab that stim. All right, we're getting to the fourth grave now. Down here. Sun's coming up, barely. It's cold. We're in a wolf nest that is Broken Railroad. We have so many matches, but I'm still going to chain torch it like this. Don't think we need to start a fire. I think we should be okay grabbing the grave and going indoors. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Oh, those noises. Sound like an avalanche. Should be over here. There it is. That a bit. And there we go. Now we have one left, but I am going to go in here. 
we check for a few things. We can also get coffee in here, which would be fantastic. Uh, we'll go in by this route in case there's anything additional. Uh, we can check this, I guess. I yeah, I'll take it. The rest will leave. Oh, Parker. Probably better than this. Yep, it is. Drop that. Hey, Wooltook. That's definitely better than that one. And that's good. Go inside. The one thing I'm going to do first is to check is to see if there is a stim here. I'll grab this. Up here, there's a crate. This crate here in the back, it can have a stim in it. So I'm gonna it takes an hour and a half. Really, it doesn't take that long. Oh yeah, because I don't have a. The, I should have brought the hatchet. It does not have a stem. So in that case, we're going to exit and go back in. Because so time we don't spend an hour and a half for nothing. But let's go inside. All right. So we now kind of have a choice to make. There is another stem on this level which is in the hunting lodge. Let me first grab some stuff. There can be a coffee here also. Yay, it's a coffee. Fantastic, we can actually sprint a bit now. Let me see if there's also a can of coffee, that would be great. I'm not gonna use the loot scanning mechanic for anything else, just that thing. Uh, we could open that with the crowbar that was down there, but we'll leave that. And I'm not gonna loot the rest of this, I don't think. I'll have a look over here for coal. It sounds like it's still windy out there. I have some coal. And then we have one coffee. Lantern fuel, how much of it? Mm. That's something. Okay, how much water? Enough. The thing now is that um, we have to kind of make a decision. There is another stim here. It's in the hunting lodge and I could go and get it. Which will take probably, I don't know, maybe an hour in game time. I'm not sure exactly. Um, we could also... Uh, there's a possibility of a stim in the ravine. So that would mean going to the hunting lodge. Grabbing the stim there, then attaching the rope to the ravine, going down, and then seeing if there's a stim there. That seems like a lot of hassle. Ah, speaking of ropes. And this. Yeah, more fuel. Now we can make more fires. Very nice. But uh, the alternative is we have... Wait, didn't we? Yeah, when we, there's one more stim. We don't have it on us. It's in Fallon Muskeg. And we're going to grab that on the way to Milton. And I think that, you know, the... This run as a whole has been a series of gambles, hasn't it? So why don't we just stick to that philosophy? Let's grab this. And uh, gamble some more. <laughs> Any of these better? No, it's worse. And let's see, uh, can I get rid of something heavy? Don't think we need this, that's for sure. Maybe we can dump this one. Uh, let's dump this also. And one of these. And can open, I think we can get rid of, unless we have more cans. No, and I don't think we need any more cans either. And let's get rid of this one too. We have too many matches. Let's get rid of some matches. This is trying to make myself slightly lighter. Yeah, okay. I guess that's it. I don't know if we need a crowbar either, but we can carry it for now. All right, we're going to head out of here then. Make a fire on the way back if we need to. So, oh, it's cold, but there is a stim in Fallen Muskeg by uh, Edge. What's it called? Marsh Ridge. That's I always call it Edge Marsh, but it's Marsh Ridge. There's a stim there. We're going to grab that. We're going to use it to climb up to uh, Mountain Town from Milton Basin. And from there. Um, we'll get to HLV. If we can't do it, <laughs> then we're gonna have to build a goat from Mr. Lake, but it should be possible. I'm gonna have to make another fire here though. Soon. Uh, it's very cold, minus 15. 
Well, we made it this far. We can do the rest too, and then we'll wrap this up. Let's see if we can get there before the two days are reached. That would be fun. <laughs> I don't know if we can though, but we'll give it a try. I can hear some wolves, but I don't know if they're around right here. Let's actually make a fire here. And now we have a bunch of this, so we can just start a fire. We need some more tinder, actually. I'm not sure if we have any more tinder. Uh, we don't. Eat this up. <coughs> Sorry. And nothing to do there. Can I create anything? I can. Uh, let's do like this. Let's make some tinder. And let's harvest this one. Which next uh, fire I will just... Actually, let's just do it now. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean... Oh, well, I drank some of it. Well, is what it is now. And then while that's cooking, we'll make the other one too. Now we're warming up. There we go, grab that. Grab that. Grab. Grab. Let's get a better one. A better. <laughs> we can actually sprint, kind of. We actually need to use this. To get rid of our sprains. Doing this while we are, are cold, of course. And we can sprint for two meters. Yay, sprinting. And on nine ages. Because <laughs> I accidentally drank some of the coffee. All right, so let's make our way back. Um, the weather is all right. It's slowly getting warmer. It is cold though, but I think with this amount of health, we should be able to make it no problem. As long as uh, we don't get killed by wolves or something. I think the stim should be enough. I have done it before. It should be enough to get us all the way up to the top via both ropes from Milton Basin. Because the first rope is quite short. Unlike in, for example, Timberwolf Mountain, where you have a short rope and then a long rope, but the short rope is quite far away. So you climb it, you sprint, and then you can start climbing the next rope, but you won't make it. In Milton Basin, though, there's a short rope, and then almost immediately after is the long rope. So unless you mess it up, uh, the stim should expire more or less at the end. <clears throat> All right, so we have one coffee now. I'm gonna drink in a minute. Then we'll get some warmth. We can actually sprint a little bit too. And we won't take any more damage because of the coffee. I still can't believe it's the same run. Uh, I think now is a good time to drink it. Let's see how much fatigue we get back. Hardly anything. But it allows us to sprint a little bit. Look at that, how fast we're going now. If only we had coffee early in the game and not food poisoning. This will be such a fast run. Oh well. Instead we are walking into a blizzard. Getting back here is pretty straightforward from the land uh, slide. Many different routes you can take down. Instead of taking this route. And of course the wind picked up, so we are going to have to drink the other tea. And there's one more I can make when I have a break. I'm not too worried about that now, because we're not far away now from this completing the goal. Not to mention we get uh, um, some health back with the last stim. There we are, this is the hardest part of the journey really. And most people, when they do as they sleep, they do, uh, well, particularly a speed run, they do this part first. The first grave they visit is Broken Railroad. And then they grab the stim in, um, in um, uh, uh, Marsh Ridge, I can never remember. And then they go up to HIV and then it varies with what they do from that. Let's run a bit more. The weather improved a little bit. 
And we can actually run a little bit as well. I'm not worried about losing health, it's mostly just running. And then we'll drink this tea. And now we have decent warmth again. <clears throat> And now we're going to do the shortcut up to Marsh Ridge, where there is the last stim we're going to use. Let's actually have this ready, in case. Be cold to bother with the uh, flare. Look how much longer the coffee is lasting now that we don't have um, food poisoning. With food poisoning, it is drained right away. But now, that's not... Really an option. I'm gonna grab two mushrooms. I don't think it's necessary. I think uh, from here on it should be right, but I'm still gonna grab two just in case. But yeah, those early coffees, 11 coffees, literally just to stave off some condition loss, which probably would have killed us without it. But gosh, what the difference it would have made. We could have refilled our entire sprint meter. I finished way, way earlier. It was a great plan until it suddenly didn't become a plan anymore. And maybe one day I'll do the same. I have to be a little bit honest though, I think the loot scouting method that I've been describing is a little bit boring. Um, it works because you can go into an area like, say, the dam, it's massive, spend ages looting it, and then you find out, oh, there's some good cloth there or whatever, and then you save time by going in and looting it. But well, there's two reasons why it's a bit stupid. One is that items in containers will only sometimes be there when you load the game after. Which defeats the point then. And the other thing is that, I don't know, it's a bit cheesy I think. It's a, you know, when you do a speed run, uh, by the way, before I continue that conversation, this is the shortcut back up. If you want to go up to uh, Marsh Ridge, you go here. All the way up this slope here, you can get all the way up. I don't know if you actually need to go all the way up though, but uh, you can, um, and then you got to go up here, so let's, oh, there we go, we go up here. So from this slope here, from the uh, Fallen Oskig, up on this ridge here, and then just go here. It's very easy, and then you go down here, you get up on this little ridge here. There we go, and then here. If that doesn't connect, you just go up here instead, and then you walk over. And then up here at this little corner, and up. And then we are pretty much just there. Can we move spawn here as well, but I don't see one. And over there is the, uh, the last dim. So, um, yeah, so the loot scouting thing. When you do a speed run, um, often they are put into two different categories. And Hopeless Rescue is an example of that. You have two categories for speedrunning. One is Hopeless Rescue Classic, and one is Any Percent. Classic is vanilla. You can't do any out of bounds. You can't do any kind of major exploits or anything like that. While Any Percent is basically anything goes. You can go out of bounds. You can use any kind of tricks that you want. And obviously any, any percent runs are faster. But as to that sleep, if you use exploits like uh, loot scouting, like I said, or going out of bounds, or I would say even the campfire trick, you know, that's an any percent run. You're using any means necessary to get a fast time. And that was my intention with this run, to basically use any means I could think of to get a faster time. So I think it's a technique that can actually be used. Uh, but I'm kind of like, I'm not a purist per se. But I like playing the game as it's intended. Every now and then I do use exploits, I use shortcuts, I use, uh, you know, the campfire tricks sometimes, and stuff like that. There's the stim. So I'm not exactly like pure vanilla of, of this game. But I do think, uh, actually let's make a fire here, I think, because it's getting really, really cold. Let's uh, do it here. <coughs> But I think it's a bit cheesy, and uh, it, it works, so if you are going to do a speedrun of Asteroid Sleep, 
maybe you want to do loot scouting because maybe that will work. Oops. But um, I have to say doing it, and this is the first time I've actually done it, it's a little bit boring, to be honest, to go into something like the dam, and then you loot everything, and then you... Um, and then you load and do it again. It basically means that in real time, the run takes a much longer than it needs to be. So the irony is that you get a faster time, but you spend more time getting the faster time. It's kind of weird in a way. So uh, yeah, I think it's a technique that I haven't seen anyone else do before. Uh, I think it works, but it is a little bit weird to be honest. I think we're warm enough uh, now. We can also grab this. Uh, let's get a proper torch. Um, no, <laughs> it's gonna blow out anyway. Let's grab that, grab that, and let's grab that, and let's go. Now we have one last climb to do. And we're home free. So I think that if you're watching this and you watch this far, then thanks, first of all. You're amazing, and I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed a different kind of acid that sleep uh, walkthrough. What was meant to be a speedrun walkthrough is now a kind of speedrun walkthrough. Oh. And mostly a survival run. Um, uh, where was I going with that one? <laughs> uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. And... Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say the rest. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's it. So if you are going to speedrun as that sleep, I mean, it probably is the hardest challenge in the game to speedrun because of how brutal the conditions are. But if you are going to do it, what matters most is the route planning you take, the shortcuts you use, and how lucky you are to find coffee. The loot scouting technique in that, you know, maybe will save you a little bit of in-game time, you know few minutes here and there perfecting the run or whatever but do you really need it uh, I don't know I think next time I do a speed run of acid dead sleep I'm probably not going to use this technique except for a few key moments like for example in a uh, broken railroad you don't know if there's a stem inside the box so in that area it's quite handy to break down the box see if there's a stem and then if it's not, you can exit and come back in and then not, that time is not wasted. But other than that, the main reason you want to go places and loot is to find clothing uh, or coffee. That's pretty much your two main things. And if you're playing this as a speedrun, most of the items you want will be in plain sight. So for example, if you come into the farm in Pleasant Valley, you will see if there's coffee there, it will be on the shelves. You will see clothing laying about, you'll see the hacks on the floor, you'll see the matches there. So you don't really need to loot that much for random loot, it's something you do in addition. And the same goes for the stims. So on a speed run like this, I'm not sure how much use there really is in going into a building, checking out what random loot is in the containers and then loading again. Uh, it has very marginal benefits. I did it a few times in this run. And there weren't many times it really benefited. Sure, I did the dam and I looted everything in the dam and realized there's only two things I want. The most important one was the jerry can and the matches didn't even spawn. So I spent a lot of time kind of concluding like, well, there's nothing here for me. Just let me grab some toilet water, an empty box and a jerry can and that was it. I could have just done that anyway because the matches didn't spawn. So in the whole time I spent looting the dam, what I really benefited from that was getting the jerry can, which was in plain view in the entrance, and the toilet water, which I was going to get anyway. So it didn't really achieve much, really. Uh, I guess it's useful if you want to open a safe to see what's inside, to then determine if it's worth opening. But I can see using the loot scouting technique as being useful in certain situations. But overall, it's not the key factor determining whether you're going to get a good run. So if this run had gone flawlessly, if I had not got food poisoning and I'd done everything right, I don't think it necessarily would have been a world record time. I don't think that's what would have changed. It's more the route uh, you take and how you manage your coffee resources and things. 
That's what really matters, I think. Are they still hot? Yeah, so let's drink one. It's a little bit annoying that the... Um, we can actually drink the next one too. And they can warm up completely. Yeah, that's good. Nice, nice. I think we'll manage in just over two days. Yeah. Alright. We're coming up on the last rope now. The last place we need to use a stim. We don't need it for anything else. And it's a little bit annoying that the wind's against us because that means the run from the first rope to the second rope is going to be slower. But I don't think it's going to make a difference. If I was on shore, I could have used to save the coffee for this point as a backup and gone on a ledge. Because I can see one ledge. But I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think even with the wind against us, I think we should be all right. And if not, I can just exit and reload, I guess, right? <laughs> Might as well at this point. Uh, aside of that, I go around Mystery Lake. Both would be horrible, though. All right. Let's see if we can manage this. Here we go. Let's first check that we can actually... Yep, All right, let's go. <sighs> Up we go. Fast, fast, fast. This is a very short rope. Up, up we go. And then we're gonna run to the second rope. We have the wind against us, but it's not too bad. Yeah, this is fine. And now we protect it from the wind, so it's no problem especially. And then we climb, 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 climb. And we should be able to get all the way up before this dim expires. So this rope here, this one is long, but it's not that long. There are longer ropes in the game. I would say this is like a medium to long rope and the other one's a short rope. And I can feel it, you can hear it, that the heartbeat is slowing down, but not quite there. So we should be fine here. We could now check uh, the farm for coffee. But honestly, I don't know if it's worth it because we have more than enough now to get to HRV. So, if I found coffee and made it, I'm not sure we would actually get there faster at this point. So, yeah, so there we are. So, there we made that with quite a significant margin. So, gamblers win. We didn't need the, the Steam and Hunt's Lodge. Alright, so now we're almost there. And <laughs> look at our health. I mean, look how much we regenerated. You can see the food poisoning was the main thing that ate away at our uh, our health so much that it really became a pain in the ass to be honest to maintain our health and I had to use the coffee to just ensure I didn't die but as you can see like if I didn't have food poisoning the coffees last forever and the, the, the health doesn't drain as much so it's just so much better uh, without it and now because uh, I have been keeping the cold away pretty much all the time for a long time I'm not really taking any cold damage anymore and the only damage I've been taking ever since the food poisoning was cured and the food poisoning I don't know exactly when it was cured but it was uh, before getting to desolation point somewhere it got cured and um, after that I don't think I've gotten cold so the only damage I've taken since then has been the uh, fatigue damage which is about one percent per hour and when was that uh, i can't remember exactly but that was uh hmm, when was that well, over 12 in game hours ago at least and that's like 12 it's like one stim you know and we popped how many stims? I popped one for safety in Bleak Inlet. I popped another one in Full on Muskeg and one here. So we and the stim heals fifteen percent. So we've healed forty-five percent health uh, since Desolation Point. Um, and we haven't gotten cold or anything since then. So since then, we've only lost health from fatigue. 
So that's why we have so much health now. It's strange in a way to think that this is the same run that almost died uh, from fatigue, basically, and food poisoning. And again, it's, you know, I'm gonna need to eat when the food poisoning happened in this run, I did think like, well, maybe I should just end right now and I'll start again. Because I figured, well, it's over. Uh, the run was salvageable immediately. I could have gone to Signal Hill and I could have slept there and I would have removed the food poisoning and I would have taken very little damage and I could have continued the run with like 30% health or something and it would have been fine. No problem. But it would have added 10 hours to the run. And maybe actually having slept 10 hours um, we probably actually would have completed the run faster than, than this because we would have added 10 hours to the timer but, but we would have gotten stamina uh, back. Not a lot though because you don't really recover much stamina when you uh, sleep with food poisoning uh, but a little bit you would have gotten and then we could use coffees and things so we may have been faster. Um, I don't know actually if you would have regained that much stamina because uh, when you sleep while you have food poisoning you continue to drain stamina it's like the body is uh, using all the energy it's got and actually uh, there have been players in survival mode who deliberately give themselves food poisoning in order to sleep longer so uh, I I've never done it deliberately but I've done it as a consequence of having food poisoning in survival but I know this for example Kimiota did it once so he was very low health and he uh, wanted to sleep a long time to what was it to cure cabin fever or something I don't remember exactly the reasoning but uh, instead of sleeping 12 hours he deliberately gave himself food poisoning then he slept for 10 hours and then he woke up still pretty much fatigued and he slept for another 12 hours. So he could sleep like 24 hours in total almost. Though it was actually used for that. But yeah, this run really started as a speed run walkthrough. And then it became, when I got food poisoning, I thought I should just call it here and start again. If I can be bothered to start again. But then I thought, let's just see. Let's just see how far I can push this with food poisoning on acid at sleep without curing it. I did drink the Raishi tea, which I think uh, stops some of the health loss, or it's not as severe. I don't know exactly how much you take anyway. I know you take damage anyway, because that has happened to me before. Like you cure it immediately as you get it and then go to sleep and then you still take damage. Not a lot, but you take some. So I obviously lost health anyway. But I don't know how much exactly or anything. Um, and I thought, well, that's it. That's it. End of the run. But I thought, let's just push it. Let's see how far we can take it. And I honestly didn't think I would even make it to Tim Wolf Mountain. And then I thought, well, maybe we can make it to Russell Highway and get a stim and run. But then I, I, I honestly thought that maybe I'll make it to Cinder Hills Mine and get a stim. But then after that, I won't make it much further because the food poisoning just eats away. But then we made it. <laughs> uh, I'm amazed actually that this run is not dead. Yeah, it's just barely alive. But And now we can go hungry if, if our character gets hungry, it doesn't matter. Because uh, we have so much health now. But it's been an experience, this. It's been an experience. It has happened before that I've made walkthroughs and then I've made a mistake and then I just deleted the walkthrough and I did it again so that I can give a better walkthrough for viewer experience. Uh, there are some exceptions, for example, the Hunted Part 1 uh, speedrun walkthrough I did um, has errors in it, but that's because that's part of trying again and again. But here I thought, um, well, let's just see if it can be done. Let's see if you can survive. You know, what if this was you? Let's, let's say if you're watching this and you want to complete as that sleep. And you're maybe not doing a speed run. 
and you get food poisoning. <laughs> well, now you know what to do. And you know it can be done, even without curing it via sleeping. So let's see here how this uh, goes in terms of time. If I remember correctly, we spawn around noon. So when we finish this, it will probably be like two, two days. Two days and two hours or something. In fact, from now on, we don't really need this, for example. Uh, we don't need this. So we're not in heavy anymore, and then we can walk slightly faster. We don't need any loot or anything. We can just walk. This is the last walk to the last grave. Unless I forgot to click on one, which I don't think I did. Gosh, imagine that. Imagine that. That happened to a stream I was watching. <laughs> he did all five graves, but I forgot to click on one. And then we did the last one, he's like, hold on, why? Oh, and he had to go back for one. If you'd like to do this yourself, if you'd like to just do As Dead Sleep without speedrunning it, I have a walkthrough of that. You can watch on how to do it. And there's no time limit, of course, you take it in your own uh, time. The first time I ever did As Dead Sleep, I did it in just over nine in-game hours. And the last day, not hours, what am I saying? Nine in-game days, so nine days was the first time I did uh, As Dead Sleep. I would have done it in eight days, but when I got to the last grave, which was Timberwolf Mountain, I couldn't find it, because on the map it says that... Uh, well, I can actually show you who cares about the time now. Um, uh, oh, I already clicked it, but it, the symbol is here in the lake. So I thought, oh, the grave must be in the lake somewhere, and then the blizzard hit, and I couldn't find it for the life of me, so I had to wait out the blizzard, which took a whole day. So I finished it. The first time I did this, it was nine days in a bit. But many people who do it for the first time, I've seen people take up to 30 days plus their first attempt. Some people take it very slow and carefully. They even make the bow and things. So you just do it however you want to do it. If you want to speed run this, then the way I have done it today should give you a good indication of how to do it because it's... Um, Wait, what's this? Uh, I think it's this way. This should give you a good indi indication of how to, to do this because a lot of the routes and tricks I did would be the same. Just don't get food poisoning from eating a sardine that is, what was it, 78% condition? <laughs> I did not expect to get food poisoning from that, if I'm honest. Uh, if you do want to see a better speedrun than this, uh, I have one that is a uh, day and 15. So that's about, uh, it's only like half a day slow, uh, faster than this. And uh, there is a, a video out there by another uh, YouTuber who is even faster. I like this. So I hope it will be helpful either way, but the, the other speed I have isn't narrated. I probably will do this again one day, uh, not in the near future, but if you are interested, let me know. I will try as that sleep speedrun again in the future and do it properly. That is to say, if I get food poisoning, I'll just restart. So I'll do a, uh, a vanilla uh, speedrun. It's a wolfie. Don't die now. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so this is, should be it. There's a wolf here now, but uh, we can just ignore that. Should be down here and up. Marine flare, we've been carrying this whole time. And it should be down here and up a little slope, I believe. speed round to finish it should be down here not up there why did that sound play when I wasn't even close <laughs> there we are the last of the graves so it's been a journey for sure oh that's a nice little uh, nice little glow there could be a 
nice summary screen for, for this. <laughs> yeah, so we made it. Thank you for watching. I can't believe I actually made it this far and clicked it. Not much of a speed run with me just standing here watching it, but it is what it is. Let's see what time we got. Here we go. That should be it. There we go. Yay! So it said what I said. Best time two days. That's uh, not correct. <laughs> I have a video where I do it much faster than that. Why does it say that? That must be a bug. Uh, well, my best time is uh, one day and I think 15 hours, I think, is my fastest. Um, but, you know, two days, two hours, I can live with that uh, as a food poisoning speed run. So I must say, that was a fun experience. Um, if you watched all of this, thank you so much for being part of this experience. Normally these things happen in a uh, walkthrough, especially a speedrun walkthrough. I will usually just start again. When it's a normal walkthrough, uh, then I might continue just to show how to recover. But in a speedrun, the whole point is to do it fast. In this case though, once I got food poisoning, it kind of ceased being a speedrun and instead it became a acid that sleep survival with no sleeping allowed, you know. Ironically, the challenge is called sleep, and we couldn't sleep. <laughs> and I didn't think, there were several times I thought, I don't think this can be salvaged. The um, the food poisoning just ate away too much of our condition and too much of our fatigue. I didn't think it was possible. But here we are, and we made it to the end. So that was As the Dead Sleep. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, it was fun and, and nail biting for you as it as nail biting for you as it was for me, and maybe you learned something too. Uh, if you didn't, at least you learned what not to do, and don't eat sardines that are almost in perfect condition when you're doing a challenge like this. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. See you next time, survivors. Bye bye.